Match One Podcast, not nothing. And you are not tuned in with the Match One Podcast. Man, Match One Podcast. If you ain't Match One, nigga, you dap one, man. You did what I'm saying. Hey, man. Roll one, smoke one. This the Match One Podcast. Match One, Match One Podcast, number one podcast station. You already know it's Match One. Better Match Two if you ready, though. Come on. <laughs> Match one podcast, man. Shout out to my man Zeus and T. Did in this motherfucker, man. Scrap life, scrap love, man. Y'all know what it is. I'm fucked up with these niggas, man. <laughs> match one, bitch. Oh, match one, man. Fam, C time shit, man. Tuning in. Real topics. Good energy, man. And hey, we ain't here matching one with the match one podcast. Shout out to y'all, man. I'm high as a motherfucker. Scrap okay. life. Scrap love. All my niggas smoking green, yelling out match one. And you're now tuned in with match one. Let's get it. <clears throat> my check, my check, my check. Huh? My check. Say so true. Yo. Yeah. I need you closing it or? Yeah, good, good. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Okay. Mic check, mic check, mic check, mic check. Cut out the mic, so I'll cut out that shit off. <clears throat> nah, it ain't live on this side. I'm in the game now. <clears throat> Alright. They gonna get you a shit, man. I ain't got no goddamn song on my head right now. I can't. Uh. I can't even think clearly right now. It's the wrong shit I'm talking about. Okay. Sorry, that guy down. We got bread and we didn't make it like Hux Bow. Man, hey, man, you let me talk about the head. I mean, how old is that song? I don't know. Yeah, I don't think that fall into my category on my song. It ain't 90s, though. Nah. No. Yeah. It definitely like, ain't 90s. Yeah, early 2000, mid. It's your boy, Zeus. Ryan and Machete. Hey. Oh, go ahead. AKA Thunder, AKA Let's Go, AKA The Hood Motherfucking Geek, AKA Mr. Or Dead, Lord God, Sing God, Yado. Shout out to the big guy, come out. Now go by King Jordan Diddy. Welcome to the Match One Podcast. We got our motherfucker in the building. Uh huh. He ain't no guest no more. That nigga been nah. plenty, plenty, plenty goddamn. Nah. Lots of goddamn ties. You mean that? You know what I'm saying? It's a guest star. You know yeah. what I'm saying? A guest host in the bill. NTG trail in no the motherfucking building, yeah, no nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know, we shot that nigga out of your show anyway. So, yeah, right, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I've been listening, hey, so I've been noticing. One of the biggest motherfucking supporters in the goddamn city. I was just telling the nigga, like, before we started, like, that nigga be every goddamn well, boy. Yeah, he yeah, probably he is the biggest supporter in the city. You should have turned that shit back on. I time. believe I am, to be honest with you. What, the biggest sport? I believe I am. And I ain't just being cocky or arrogant about it. It's just like, when I say I be at everybody mixtape release, everybody, whatever, performance that I can make it to. Because I'm only one person, but. Right. I don't see no, not too many people that just consistently at everybody's shit the way that I am. So Damn I up. would say I'm the biggest motherfucking supporter. Anywhere, anywhere we go, it. anywhere we go, any event we go to, and I'm enough a for dope, a fact, Trey gonna be there. And I'm a pretty dope promoter too, by the way. You know, go ahead, so, man. Go ahead, you got to plug yourself. Yeah, I do a little something. Pop something. You can follow me on IG at NTG Trail, man, and get with me. Get with you, brother. Get with. Me. Hey, get with oh, me, boy, man. I mean, get with the. 89, 90s, baby, whatever the fuck he is. Oh, yeah, I'm a 90s baby, man. Yeah, yeah, 89, 90 baby. You know, I'm a real 90s baby, man. <laughs> but I was born in 89, but I'm a 90s baby. Let's see, there we go. He did respect in the 80s, baby, but we're going to let that slide. <laughs> he really is low key. He low key. Uh, quick shout out, man. Shout out, Nix, uh, Cho Chase, uh, everybody, man. All the motherfucking listeners, man. The whole squad. Shout yeah, out, no talk. No talk, even though know, they motherfucking, you know, in the goddamn building. Yeah. Technically, but you know. So shout out to every motherfucking body, man. Everybody. Ain't the you city. Shout out to you too, though. Ain't you up for your Tri City Award, ain't you, bro? Yeah, oh, man. I got nominated, man. I got nominated. That's crazy. Yeah, I vote for my boy, man. Uh, what it is it? The supporter, uh, right? Yeah, best supporter. Best supporter. Best supporter. Yeah. MTG Trail just nominate the kid. I really appreciate it. You hit that bitch. You nominated already. Yeah. You going for the time to vote, now. Nah. Definitely. Yeah, vote should, for the kid. But you should win, though, bro. Like, Loki, you know, like I said, it's a lot of supporters, but I can't. I can't. What did you just do? Are you talking about a lot of hell in the head, bro? What? Your headphone out? No, no, no. You wait. Whatever you were just doing, you had it straight. Then you just turned something, and then it just made it. Nah, I was just fuck with him. I trying to get it right. Okay. But yeah, I'm gonna be in that thing, and I ain't wearing no suit and ties or none of that. Nothing personal. Hell yeah, nah. I'm this coming in that thing. Formal thuggy. event. I'm coming in that thing. Yeah. But y'all make sure y'all vote. NTG Trail. 
And vote for the Mad One Podcast. You know what I'm saying? We the on that motherfucker. Number one you know podcast. Come on, man. Not just in Columbus, oh, people, but in the world, man. man. Come on, man. We, in the world, man. You might better tell them something. Believe that. Man, we already know what's up, bro. Oh, you know, being nominated three times. Whatever. Big facts. Okay. <laughs> Y'all gonna get Take that five, W this time. Five. Y'all gonna get that W. Mm-hmm. We should, we should. Shout out to everybody else that nominated the shit, though. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's a lot of motherfuckers, you know, nominated the shit. It's great, that, bro. Yeah. yeah. A lot of motherfuckers nominated the shit. Shout out to all, you know, everybody. You, you want to say anything else about the show? Uh, nah. Fuck the show. I mean, not fuck the show. I just feel like, man, we got we to gotta get it right, man. The show is not right, and we just need to get it right. You know what I'm saying I feel like too many people Get missed out on And, t- and motherfuckers like to say Nigga bitching and different shit You know what I'm saying But I understand a lot of niggas You know what I'm saying I don't understand a lot of niggas But I do right. understand a lot of niggas You know what I'm saying A lot of shit A lot of people ain't deserving And a lot of people lost So you know I just feel like if I, I just feel like the shit That too Buddy It's a buddy system in that shit and, and it ain't gonna Shit ain't gonna never be right If you are doing shit on the buddy system We need to You need to put you a A, a council or something together Of motherfuckers And get different opinions of people Not just the people that you around You know what I'm saying uh, People that you like Or people that you fuck with You know what I'm saying Cause it's more than just that in the city It's true You know You know I feel like I feel like They do the nominees and the winners Based off of who they feel like gonna come Basically, or who fucking with them at the time, you know what I'm saying? So we just need to get shit together, or somebody else do it in the war show. I mean, even if you, somebody else do it and they do it just like you're saying, it's still gonna have people gonna find a way to. I feel to like it could be done in a way to where a motherfucker really couldn't say nothing about it, but you still have them few people that'll say they little shit. True but that. the people that's complaining about this war show. It's more than enough reason to complain about this shit. But I feel like if it was just really more of a fair level playing field, it wouldn't be so many people to have different, you know, them different views on it. It's a way to do it. Okay. It's a way. We should go through the number need today. You said you finna go. We should pull it up and go right. through our number need. That'd be a long ass shit because there's a lot of goddamn category. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. It's a lot of goddamn yeah. category. That's a Definitely. long shit. We'll say that for another time. Shit. Uh, I mean, what well, y'all want to discuss shit, dog? You know I told you? I mean, yeah, I, I, I kind of really want to I kind of really want to start the shit with Jay. I want to speak on the up and coming artists. I ain't even going to call a motherfucker local artist. I just want to speak on the up and coming, the independent, the motherfuckers who grind and trying to make some shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like I pay attention to a lot of people and I see a lot of different views, but I see a lot of dumbass views. I see a lot of people that I feel like don't have an understanding of what they're trying to do. And I just feel like if you don't have an understanding, you either need to learn about your craft other than just rap and trying to be an artist, you need to learn about the business side of the crowd or get you somebody around you that at least has an understanding. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, you're not probably going to have somebody who is an industry person, which you ain't made it to that level yet. But it's still people out here that have a certain understanding that you can fuck with. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know what's going on. Because a lot of people got to do that you know, I mean, you gotta elaborate. I mean, you, I mean, um, just, just, just the way that people promote and people try to get their shit out there, and nigga get the feeling like motherfuckers not supporting them. But you gotta give motherfuckers something to support. You know, like you gotta do more than just put the shit on Facebook. You gotta do more than just put the shit out. Period. I don't give a fuck where you got your music at. I don't give a fuck if it's on iTunes. Give a fuck if it's on Tidal. I don't give a fuck if it's on Spotify. It don't matter where your music is. If you just uploading your music and just expecting the motherfucker to just find your shit and listen to your shit, you're in the wrong business. It don't work like that. You got to get yourself out. And just like the local artists around here that I've noticed, none of them care they sell like Trey was saying. You know, we got we don't have many, nobody that care they sell like an artist. You know, nobody that... 
even trying to seem like nigga don't even try to get that audience that they need. Nigga just trying to do shit on the local scale. Niggas want to be Columbus popular, man. Right. Niggas just want to be popular in Columbus, and I see where he passed that. I don't know, like, I don't know. I, I, well, I can't say I know why I see different because I traveled a lot when I was younger. You know, growing up, like, my grandma used to scrape change together and get together with her brothers and sisters and take all me and my second cousins. We'll go a vacation somewhere every year, different places. So it's just I've seen shit different than just Columbus. you were 80s, baby. You know how to change the subject. <laughs> but 90 baby grandmas ain't doing that type of shit. 90 baby grandmas yeah, don't like, understand. I saw a lot of shit at a very young age, you know what I mean? I've been to the Arc of St. Louis, been to D.C., been to New York. Been all over Ohio, Indi- uh, Indiana, all type of different places. So it's like, I guess I just, my mindset is different because of that. I can see way past Columbus with everything that I do. I'm not even looking at the city. I'm looking past the city. But a lot of motherfuckers ain't been nowhere but to Columbus and Atlanta and Panama City Beach. So yeah, that's yeah. all they know. All you, know I just I mean? feel, you know, and just shit like Facebook, man. I just feel like, you know, Facebook is like some family shit. Thanks. Family and friends, you know what I'm saying? People that you know. Facebook is really not a place to promote. And it, I, I understand niggas have their music pages and, you know, they different pages and different things like that. Like like with us, for instance. Like, I don't even really promote. I don't share, like, Match One Podcast really to Facebook and promote it on Facebook like that. I fuck with Twitter and, you know, different other shit. You know what I'm saying? Other yeah. platforms and shit. Because I just feel like... It, Motherfucker around here know what everybody got going on. Facts. So if a motherfucker gonna support, they gonna support. Exactly. They not, they not. You know exactly. what I'm saying? And I'm one of them people. Like I put a block on my page because I got sick of motherfucker promoting on my page, putting shit on my page, putting songs on my page and shit Man, like that. So I got a block on my shit. You yeah. can't just post nothing on my time. I'm, I'm gonna get you know into that too. I'm gonna get into that too. And I respect that on other people's shit. You know, people don't be on. I don't. Like, I don't get on Facebook for that. So I feel like other people like that too. You know what I'm saying? People don't don't get on Facebook for that. It's different. It's places for that. Nothing wrong with you promoting your shit on Facebook, but don't let that be where you post your shit majority of the time. And then you tell my niggas ain't supporting and people don't support and different things like that. Nah, you gotta support yourself. You gotta Thanks. get some shit going. You gotta Thanks. get your social media. The motherfuckers around here ain't finna get you where you need to be. Facts. That's true. What where your Instagram at? And they're going to wait till they see you really promoting yourself in a certain way. Then they'll hop on your dick. Yeah, that too. But that's anywhere. Yeah, that's anywhere. That's hill, yeah, you know that's anywhere. And that's what niggas need to understand. Like, if you promote yourself a certain way, you'll be surprised at how many new fans you get, how much new money you're going to have coming in, shows, people buying your merchandise, your CDs, whatever. But as long as y'all around here on Facebook crying like the city owe it to you to, to buy your shit or stream your shit, Ain't nobody gonna fuck with you Cause I know me personally Once you show me That type of attitude That's a turn off For me as a consumer Right And as a supporter And as a promoter That's a turn off Like I don't want nobody Talking to me Like I owe them something True I went through my darkest days by my goddamn self And I had nobody But my grandma To help a nigga So right. I don't wanna hear shit I don't wanna hear No nigga talking to me Like I owe them anything Nigga just get sick of hearing Complaining man Fuck all that complaining Facts, shit. Facts, man. All that crying and whining right. and it, talking it, about what we need to do like, like they're going to do doing, something. If you were doing your shit the right way, you wouldn't have nothing to complain about. Nothing. You wouldn't have nothing to say because you would at least see or understand what's going on. That show that, nigga, you ain't doing your shit the right way when you got all them damn complaints. You're not doing your shit the right way. Yeah. And I ain't saying that I know. Because shit, I ain't never been a part of the industry or no label or... No shit like that You know what I'm saying But I just feel like I pay enough attention to it And I got I'm knowledgeable enough To understand certain things So I just feel like You know Niggas is stupid man Facts And niggas pay too much attention To what other people do And how other people get success And feel like I want to take that same road But you ain't looking at The entirety of the road You know what I'm saying You looking at the Outside of the role Like oh they was Promoting on this And these folks Started fucking with them And folks were sharing That shit And they they became this You know what I'm saying But it ain't that easy bro. It don't just work like that You know what I'm saying People be putting themselves In positions for a motherfucker To be able to do that 
And that's the first thing you gotta worry about is putting yourself into a position. Nigga don't give a fuck how good you can rap. Nigga don't give a fuck about your bars. Nigga don't give a fuck about your music, your production. Okay. Don't nobody give a fuck about that shit. That's the least of what a motherfucker give a fuck about these days. Are you appealing? Can we sell you? Can we? Are we enjoying looking at you? You know what I'm saying? That's what a motherfucker wants. Can you make a hit record, nigga? Yeah, yeah. Cause that but that counts. really don't mean much not nowadays. Nah, it don't. It don't really mean much. But you don't go go so far that right you can't now, do. right now, what is a hit record? This is my opinion of what a hit record is. A hit record ain't based on necessarily just the song itself or the format that you use to make the song. This is this. I'm, I'm gonna use the technical definition of what is a hit record. Once you hit the top forty on the Hot 100 charts, and you didn't say you can make you can, you made at least five hundred thousand to an M off that record. That's a hit record. But could we agree on that being an uh, outdated definition? Yes and no at the I same time. I can see time. that being the definition yes no of a hit time. song, but that is kind of outdated. Kind of. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what you mean? To me, I feel like a hit song is is a hit song is really based on your ability to be able to get motherfucker to listen to it. True. And that's it. But see, so yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah, if a motherfucker, yeah. if a motherfucker, if you got your shit up on YouTube or if you got your shit on SoundCloud or you got your shit on title or apple or anything you know what i'm saying right. and you can drop a song and get millions of motherfuckers to at least click that bitch right or thousands of motherfuckers to click it more than one time it's and then get to me it's, that's it's a, a hit in a way yeah it's a you know hit in, a in this time but it's this day we see what i mean like with the technical definition it's different levels to it like it's a lot of niggas that got hood hits, hood classics. But do you got yep. a worldwide hit that you can take that motherfucker to China and they know your name and know who you are and they over there singing it? But these a, lot man, of a hood can't say classic that. or a hood hit could be a worldwide. It could be because you could. got the internet. You know, what yeah, I'm it could be. It is different motherfuckers who like can travel, right? But see them that charts speak for themselves though. Cause them charts are telling you what's getting played on the radio most more and than see, anything else. But the radio is no name me a nigga in the in the last ten years that's blew up off of the radio. Nobody. By the time right now, by the time your shit they get to the radio, they even hit the radio. Come on, man. Yeah. Right now, if your if your shit is in consistent rotation on the radio right. around the world, right. Nine times out of ten, the song old. You know what I'm saying? Because the radio gets shit late. It's old. It's not already really been big on the internet. You know what I'm saying? D-Day. The radio is, is obsolete. The radio is, is nothing now. The radio going away. The radio finna be blockbuster. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The radio finna be blockbuster. True that. I would agree with that. You know what I'm saying? saying? We don't need that no more. We got different ways to get this shit. We don't need the radio. Niggas don't even really listen to the radio no more. Niggas don't need record labels either, but they they don't understand that part either. Hell nah. Record label ain't number two sharing your money with a motherfucker. Yeah, that's it. And that falls back to being able to build your social media and being able to build your own following. Because if you can build your own following, what the fuck do you need a record label for? Thanks. The major la- you know the streaming sites is the major labels now. And these days, Apple Music, that's these the major days if a record label now. coming to you, you don't need them. Nope. I can yeah. understand in times where niggas don't understand that though. It was a time where talent counted. But talent was something, and a label might somebody from a label might see the talent and pick a motherfucker and say, "Nigga, we gonna mold this motherfucker into mm-hmm. an artist on their label." Right. But nigga, labels ain't looking for that shit no more. Hell no, nah, they looking they for looking for no goddamn talent. Package already, right. like twenty one savage. No like, man, twenty one savage when he signed a deal, like he ain't even signed a deal to like after the X Big song and all that type shit. He had right. been in the game right. way longer than that by the time that dropped. But he showed that he had the ability. Exactly. He had a he following. He had the package. He you had a following. He was right. on tour already. He was on, right. you know, big stages already. And if I was him, I wouldn't have signed the deal. It wasn't the point of signing the deal by then. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't signing for shit but distribution. Right. It's, the way which, that goes Which you don't need That shit finna be obsolete too Which you don't need Physical copies that and shit, shit like be That's another like thing That's it. another thing I don't know how y'all feel But I feel like CDs Especially if you're uh, Independent Or up and coming artist 
CDs is the worst investment that you can make. It's a waste of it's a waste of money. It's a waste. It's a waste of money. Cause like like I always like to say, like see right now, even if you are seeking a record deal or you want to get signed to a label, a label don't give a fuck about how good you can rap. Nope. They're not gonna give a fuck about that. All they gonna worry about is. Can I make money off of this motherfucker? That's it. Can we put this person out? Can we put this music out and get strings right. to where we can get advertising dollars off this motherfucker or right. get sales? And get, are, are, they, are people going to come to the shows? You know what I'm saying? That's all they give a fuck about. They don't give a That's fuck it. about your music. Hell no. And so if you out here making physical copies, I don't give a fuck if you got a million copies pressed up. And you got a million copies out here in the streets And Motherfuckers listening to your shit You might have a million motherfuckers listening to your shit Right If you go sit down in front of a record label How you gonna prove it? Okay If they pull up your social media page And you like Yeah I got a million CDs out in the streets can't prove Everybody it, right. bumping my shit And they pull up your social media And you got A, a hundred likes A thousand likes on this song Five thousand views on this song, right. nigga. What the fuck? Are you a waste of time. Right. They're nothing to sign. They're nothing to fuck even, with you because you can't show it. Right. Niggas don't even know how to keep track of that. You got to have oh, the, the little scanning machine that you scan and right. travel with, it, and niggas don't know right. that. Right. Right. And that, that shit is obsolete now. Facts. You know what I'm saying, nigga? That shit is pointless now. I'm nigga, put it like sound this. scan. That shit is nothing no more. I'm gonna speak on some shit that I saw with Juvie on uh, on Instagram. Juvie was chumping a little nigga off. Cause he was trying to get Juve to buy his shirt or buy his CD, and Juve was like, "Nigga, you walk up to a nigga like me, you just supposed to get, you supposed hey, to yeah. give it to me. You supposed to be trying to charge me, but nigga was trying to say, oh, Juve rich, he could have just bought that little twenty dollars shirt. Y'all not getting it. Not the point it is, I don't know you. I've never heard of you. Right. None of that. I understand wanting to see people do good or whatever and help a nigga out." Chasing the dream But I also understand I'm gonna be pretty pissed The fuck off If I spend $20 For your CD $10 for your CD And I put it in That shit whack So you just gotta look at How you present shit to people I ain't gonna like that Think about Okay I come to you I got a $20 shirt You you a famous person I got a $20 $20 ain't shit Nothing You know what I'm saying Especially not to a motherfucker With some money Nah I got a $20 shirt Now, that person might be looking at it like you a nobody, you know, same type of shit. You should be coming to me and offering me some shit, like right. type of shit, which right. that's kind of arrogant, but it's right. It's right. You know what I'm saying? It's right. the truth. You know what I'm saying? You would rather give somebody a $20 and take that $20 loss and give a motherfucker a shirt that going to put that motherfucker on one day. Say they put that motherfucker on one day right. and take a picture of it in it or get it in front of a camera that's with that take. shirt on. That's Think about the position that will put you in. Exactly. Versus, I give you a twenty dollars shirt and you know you pay for it, but you don't even put it on. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't even fuck you with. You ain't feeling the vibe. But you know anyway, what I'm saying? How you wind up getting right? The shirt. You right. probably just bought the shirt just get me up out of your face. Right. So yeah. it, in not in that aspect, it's the twenty dollars even worth. Hell nah. Hell nah. You know what I'm saying? Fuck them twenty dollars. When Man, I could have just gave this nigga shit and took a twenty dollar loss and gained something from it. Lonely an OG dollars billion dollar BD. This nigga pressed up. So many shirts and so many different colors, Instagram shirts, and everywhere he went, he gave them away. Right, right. What you supposed to do? But that's just getting that seen. Shit seen. Gave them away. That's just getting it seen. They got to pull up on the homeless motherfuckers. Everybody out that bitch, huh? Get a shirt. Yeah. Cause these motherfuckers walking around. Facts. Folks gonna just be riding down the street and see this homeless motherfucker with an EGG shirt on. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And that shit sticking nigga head. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Shit like, like that, that sticking people head. But that that sound like something I heard Charlemagne say though. Like mother people don't understand opportunity if it's not a check attached to it. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And that's gospel. That's the truth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of motherfuckers cannot see an opportunity if a check not attached to it. And that's what what a lot of niggas fuck up at. Nigga feel like I don't see how a nigga can feel like I need to be getting paid. Yes. If you're a nobody. Right. And that go from producer own up to producer to cameraman to rapper to anything but you know what though I, I blame that on a lot of mainstream rappers and I'm not saying that like but it's true when you get to that point 
Right. See, the mainstream rappers are saying that. No, no, no. But and, see, and, that's and, what and the niggas true. who listening to them and not understand it. Right. Because see, the mainstream rappers are saying, "I'm the shit. I done fucked your bitch. I'm this. I'm a. Be- I'm better than everybody. I'm above every goddamn thing." And these niggas been soaking this shit in since the early late nineties, early two thousand. So now you got a generation of people who think the same way, but ain't in the same position. Hey, true, and I just feel like, like, like. Niggas listen to rappers and oh, this nigga get this amount uh, right. uh, for a show or for a feature. So I might not be able to get this, but I should be able to get something. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's the wrong way to look at shit. Thanks. If you if you are, if you're at the bottom and your main goal is trying to get paid off of shit, you ain't, gonna you ain't never, never gonna make it from the bottom. Never. You ain't never gonna make it from the bottom because your music ain't worth shit. Nah. That's like Y'all a nigga can't even fill up a small club. That's like a nigga going yeah. and getting recruited to a high school and saying, "Well, shit, LeBron get this amount of money. I'm the best player in high school. Y'all niggas should pay me something." Right? Hey, like, come on, God, what the nigga fuck you mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck you mean? You, you ain't even in the position to get paid. Every nigga who think like that is another motherfucker that's just as good as you, if, if not better. That thinks the other way. That has the right understanding. And they gonna go with him every time. And they gonna take advantage of that opportunity. And every him the motherfucker time. that's gonna get somewhere. Say what you just said again, not trying to can't even sell out this stuff. Uh, y'all niggas can't even sell out a small club. But y'all all. talking about y'all wanna get paid two fifty, five hundred to perform for Come what? Man. This shit is Come business. On, it ain't about your feelings, it's business. Can putting your name on this fly by itself fill this club up? If the answer is no, which nine times out of ten, that's the answer to the question. Then what the fuck should I be paying you? What you saying that? I just seen something where this week. What is it? Sorak, Soraka, the, the club. Cir- Circa. Circa. Yeah, downtown. They, they, uh, got, they got this whole. You can book it for free. Book it for free. Yeah, you just got to pay for a DJ. But you they either book the money where your mouth free. is, niggas. That's, this that's, is, that's, this that's, perfect that's, opportunity for you to do that. I mean, I put a dollar amount on your ass. If I had a venue or something like that, I put a dollar amount on your ass. I, okay, just say. If I give you a dollar for that motherfucker that, cut, that you know for sure you can get to pull up to the motherfucker, how right. much money you gonna leave this bitch with? Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come on, cuz. Y'all niggas ain't even got enough people there to fuck with you to even be talking about no. Exactly. Selling no music or no shit like that. You ain't got enough motherfuckers to fuck with you. Nah. See, the biggest mistake niggas gonna make is this. Niggas look at this shit from a standpoint of a nine to five nigga versus a nigga who's starting a business. When you start in the business, you're going to lose money for years. Before you see a profit. Right. Before you right. really start seeing a profit. Right. And ain't no point in counting that money that you lost or trying to compare what you're making now to all the money you spent putting into it because that money gone. That's the number one thing that motherfucker got to understand that about gone, business. So just focus on the future from that. But niggas look at it from a nine to five standpoint. Like, oh, I, just, I did my little 40 hours this week. Where my guarantee you check it? You don't, this shit don't work like that, bro. And this shit just don't work like that. It never did work like that. It right. never will work like that. You ain't on no clock, my nigga. You, you ain't, ain't on the clock. Um, you this ain't getting paid. You becoming a, a, a rapper is you investing into yourself just like a motherfucker investing into a business. Right. It's the same shit, different toilet. You put your money into your business. So, what you, you can't expect your man, money. Y'all right would hate me if I was a rapper, bro. Some nigga don't even make their money back in the business in the first five years. Facts. You know I make a lot saying? of you niggas sick if I was a rapper. <laughs> I make a lot of you niggas sick to your stomach. You'll make them sick, bro. I'll make them sick to their stomach. I kind of feel that way if I had a passion for that shit. And I just the, don't give a fuck I, about I got a passion for it, but it's just like I deal with anxiety and a lot of other type shit that I don't really like being in front of too many people around too many people I don't know at one time. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm liable to do some crazy shit. You know, I'll be focused on looking at everybody, staring at everybody. First person yeah. I think doing some stupid shit, I might pull my gun out. I got to... You know, I would have to work on my mental issues yeah, to become yeah, a rapper. Yeah. That's why I just play the role that I play. It's easier that way. I just feel like, man, motherfuckers just got to get an understanding of what that shit is. And Facts. what it is that you're trying to do. You have to have an understanding of it. That just like saying, nigga, I'm finna get some money and I'm just gonna, I'm finna invest my money. Like, nigga, if you don't have an understanding about investing, and you don't have an understanding about what it takes to do shit like that, you ain't gonna nail, you gonna lose your money every time. Every single time. You're gonna lose your money every time. Every single time. Learn your crowd. Facts. Shout out to niggas like JT the bigger figure, aka Fig Panamera, niggas like Rap Juggernaut, niggas like uh, JT, JT bigger figure. What, what the fuck was his name? 
Because he from he from California. Because I see him. He from California. He got he got from Frisco. He from, he, got, but he moved to Atlanta some years ago. He yeah. changed his name yeah. though. Yeah, he feed Panamera. That's what it is now. That was his but big, the big, niggas, are, big the thing, niggas yeah. are underground legend, man. Yeah. He, he he was the first nigga to put a game out. Before game was even down yeah. with Dr. Dre and all that. He was the first nigga to put him out. Yeah, like, he didn't, he didn't help a lot of motherfuckers with their careers. And the, the nigga just speak real game and real common sense. Mm-hmm. Like, I remember one video, right? And I posted on my social media and everything, like... He was talking about uh, posters and, you know, getting, like, the big... Had a big ass people poster doing of that yourself, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? He like, my nigga, you can get a fleet of these motherfuckers and it ain't gonna cost you that much. And wherever city you go to, all the goddamn people that be at the store begging for money, asking for change, put them shits in their hand, line their ass up on this road that's coming up to the venue yeah, and tell yeah. them, I'll pay y'all 50 to $100 each to just sit there and hold my shit up. That's that, well, that nigga killed that shit in Atlanta, though. They now, when niggas, years. niggas get to riding down but, the street and they seeing your shit, they're gonna make them pay attention. But in what? In what? Time frame era was he doing that in? He still doing. He was doing it in the nineties. Yeah, he been doing it for two thousand, and he's still doing it now. I, mean, I feel like right. Atlanta, I feel like right now. I, I feel like right saying, now. I feel like right now. That really wasn't. It it, just, just with how the it industry is right, right now, I don't feel like that's tell you why, like would be like a major thing that'll right. help you get it. When it comes the to the ground game, though, when it comes to to street promotion. But see, you right now, street promotion the, is online. Your ground game listen, is your social media trust follow. Me, trust me. I done had big name motherfuckers tell me this. Jeezy's still doing it. So if Jeezy's still doing it that way, because he from, the, he from that era where it worked. Right. But see, the thing you know is, saying? niggas should still be doing it that way if you trying to get to a certain point. Now, if you somebody that's already on, it's different. Just your name by itself Gonna make people Pay attention to you But if you trying To get on And you go into This big event Where they be Birthday badge Or South by Southwest Or where they be Whatever A3C CIAA You gotta make for, You gotta make people Pay attention to you Versus True. a thousand Other motherfuckers That's trying to get attention Now see on that On that aspect I could kind of feel it Like if you going To a festival Or something right, like right. that You know what I'm saying right. But I just Like just look at like How many artists Have you just on average Paid attention to Based off of Like Going somewhere And seeing their promotion shit All together Right And doing little shit like that Oh right. they got motherfuckers With posters and shit and shit How many times Have you Went And inquired about these artists And looked these artists up Versus Hold on Versus Seeing somebody Doing something on social media Right I'm and seeing honest. somebody getting the game in on social media and seeing somebody's song that's in different little videos that folk doing uh seeing people sharing some shit a lot, you know what I'm saying? Right. You gonna pay more attention or a lot of the time you gonna go first more to this person that you seeing online that's gaining that following versus somebody that you just see out in the street with a big ass poster with their face on. Right. You know what but I'm saying? See, the thing is about that is the people who still doing that, they they also have an online presence too. So they yep. getting the best of both worlds versus yep. the nigga who ain't. Now, see, if you got an online present, I see anything other than anything else you're doing. That's how I found out about Euro Got It, actually. I, I was at a uh, I was at a little pizza shop. They was doing like a little, they had, it was like two DJs in Atlanta. They was putting together a little event at this little small, itty bitty ass pizza shop, no bigger than this room right here. And when he came out there with his people, they was all, they all had the matching shirts. For the label They had the posters And all that yeah. And a lot of other Motherfuckers Wasn't doing that So the first question Came to my mind Is who the fuck Is that nigga True Now see Now see True But on average You gonna pay more Attention to a motherfucker Who you see moving And doing certain shit Online Than you will like that Just like When we went to A3C Like the nigga uh, Coley P From Florida Right like We never heard of him before Right but them boys came through that bitch. Right. Nigga, they was deep. Facts. Nigga, they took over the whole street corner. They got, got a Bluetooth speaker. Right. They out there playing the whole mid tape. He got that bitch going crazy. They had that bitch. They got the whole goddamn little block turned up. Right. You know what I'm saying? And after that, hell yeah, we was inquiring about him. And then, boy, I looked him up and I seen, like, okay, boy, he be fucking with Kodak. Then nigga be fucking with all the artists and shit. Like, right. he, he had a social media presence. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. He had like a following right. from where he from and stuff. So, like, I understand 
like that type of stuff just being little extra little shits you can do right. trying to gain your following. But if you if that's your primary way of promotion oh, no, no, or no, that's no, your no, primary no. way of trying no, to get that followers and you doing all that time. shit and spending all that money doing certain shit like that, but then on your social media you getting Twenty likes right. and oh, yeah. five shares, hundred views. Have both. You know what I'm saying? In this day and time, you got to do both. You got to right. be doing both. But I can see it though. Both. I can see it. It just, that shit just can't be your primary, cause that shit will be nah. a waste of money, a waste a of big time, ass waste of money, a big ass waste of money. These need to get more tech savvy, man. Stop passing that CD. Put your information on the card and put a barcode on that motherfucker. And they get to a motherfucker All you gotta do Is wave his phone over Alright And that's The Everything best promotion up. right now Pop, Pause And that shit out Don't hand out no CD Hell Get no. that little goddamn Scan thing yeah. And boom Let a nigga pull your shit up like that Cause at least if they listen to it And they feel like they like it Or they listen to it more than one time It's counting Right And you can goddamn Show that You can right. prove that You know what I'm saying Hold on Right, right. Yeah Hey hold on Let me pause for a second real quick Alright Pause y'all Street promo Alright Sorry about that pause for the cause, people. We are motherfucking back. Match one podcast. All right. But yeah. yeah yo. Okay. But you were saying, though, we were talking about the uh, promotion and shit, right? Right. Like, stop passing that CD, waste some money, passing that CD. Get your shit, get you like some little business cards printed up with you and put the barcode on it. Like how they do nowadays. Right. Uh, right. Once a person put their phone over that barcode, all your information will come up. Your social media information, your you know your streaming information, all that, and that way your plays count. Facts. That way your plays count. No shit count off no CD. Stop being so quick to try to goddamn make money, man. Just get your name out there any way you can. Stop letting motherfuckers fool you into thinking that you got to spend your money to be able to do something. Facts. The best promotion that you can do is some free shit. Big old facts. The yeah, best promotion that you can do is some like shit. a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? They just get over on niggas who don't know no better. And even the shit that used to cost a lot of money nowadays is cheap as hell. Yeah. But the best promotion you can do is some free shit. They can get your social media going. I believe that. Get your shit jumping. You ain't yeah. gotta goddamn. You ain't gotta do all these antics and shit. You ain't nah. gotta do no dumb ass shit. Nah. Just get your following going. My niggas start going live. Start letting these folks hear your shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Facts. And drop your shit. Stop waiting forever to drop your goddamn music, Stop. man. Hold on, bro. Hold on. Stop bro. teasing folks with I'm your I'm glad we getting there, too. Listen. Y'all nigga cut out all that. I'm working on the project shit. All that. I'm saving this and that. My nigga, drop your music. Facts. Ain't no other way of getting out here. You ain't even got no fan base. You ain't got no goddamn anticipation on no music dropping. So what the fuck is holding music and getting a project ready gonna help you? It ain't gonna fuck help at all. That. You don't need no project. Drop some music. I'm Get motherfuckers to just listening to you. Tired of y'all talking about songs you've been talking about for three years now. Right. You still ain't dropping shit. I just get to the point where I just feel like niggas just like to sound like... Like they like the something. industry niggas and yeah. shit. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm working on a project and this and that. For right. what? <laughs> you know, who gonna listen to it? And nobody. Come on, man. You ain't got a big enough fan base. Fuck a project, yeah. nigga. You got a song, you feel like that bitch hot? Fact. Drop that bitch. If you oh. drop another song that night and That's you feel like thing. that bitch hot, drop that bitch tonight. That's another thing I was just finna say, man. It takes a lot of money to fund a whole project. Not even just the recording and getting it mixed and mastered, but the shit you got to do after that. There's going to be a lot of money trying to promote an 18-track mixtape or 15-track mixtape. Nigga, get one song, and it's nine times out of ten on, a song man. you already got out there. Come on, man. That everybody fuck with more than every other song that you got and understand that that's the song. Nigga, put the money into that one song. Right. Stop paying your money for these mixtape platforms. And start waiting in Columbus and trying to just push it here in Columbus like that. Gonna, man, you got to go out the city with that shit. With that one song, go to as many different places as you can. Throw a little something to the DJ. Let them spin it. And say, for instance, you can't. 
That's where social media come in exactly. at. Exactly. Instagram. Every blog, DJ got the, every DJ got a goddamn social media if they're doing some shit. You ain't gotta physically go to them and be like, hey, play my no, music. We don't. Send the motherfuckers your shit. We don't. Let a motherfucker hear your shit, my nigga. Facts. That's that's what stop don't I just nigga, MP3wax.com, Stop wasting nigga. your money putting your money on platform pop, pop, on platforms. I mean on mixtape platforms and shit say, like say, that. What, what? It's for what's MP3 Wax? MP3wax.com. What's that? Yeah, what is that? And that's something if you you doing music, you need to be submitting your music to that shit. Shout out to DJ Stone, shout out to DJ Snap. They the ones who put me on game to that shit. If you got music out here, oh, you need to be shit. putting your music on to that. That's some shit like, uh, that's some shit that like DJ go to. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. shit like that. It's just like a, a website where any DJ can really just go into there and it's like a little record pool website, basically. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? DJs going to shit like that looking for new music to spin and whatever. Okay. And I got a question for y'all. Do y'all think that a, that in this day and time a DJ can break an artist? Yes. How? Depending on it depends on who the DJ is. is. Yeah, depending on who the DJ is. Nah, I understand if it's a DJ Khaled or a motherfucker like that. I'm talking about a club DJ. I, I still think it depends on who the it, DJ is. It still is. depends. They got to be a club DJ who ain't just stuck in their city. Yeah. They got to be, be somebody a, a who... global ass DJ. Yeah, they got to be somebody that can build relationship with people in a lot of yeah. different places and got a lot of people that they can fuck with. Because one thing about the, the DJ shit is, is more to it than just that DJ spinning that record. That DJ got to have other DJ friends in other places and in big places that are also pay attention. They'll fuck with the record just because they know you spinning it. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? I mean, like if you if you a DJ in Columbus, right, and you fucking with a lot of other DJs like Bigger Rankin, like or a DJ drama or just somebody in general that can help you get to where you need to go. Okay. They might fuck with a record just cause they know you're spinning it. Now I got another question. How many times have you been in a club setting? Okay. And heard a song that you've never heard before and went home and looked for it? A thousand times. A thousand and one times. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I'm talking about like now. A thousand and one times, I can't even lie to you. But do you if think, I hear, if do you I hear think the song, average person do that? Come I mean, in the club said you gonna be drunk, you'll be surprised nigga gonna be fucked up, nigga ain't even gonna remember shit. You'll be surprised at how many people do that. Because I know I personally, if I'm in the club and I hear a song and it's dope and I don't know who it is or what the song is, I'm in somebody here like, hey, what this shit is, bro? Like, and as soon as I get, I look it up right there while but I'm see, in the club. I can see that. I just that, won't listen to it. I can see that because that what I, I can see that because that what you want. True that. Yeah, but I'm thinking of like a casual I'm listener. Right, a casual listener. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Somebody who ain't really business minded and I, really you know in, I can trying to yes. get into shit. I still say yes. You ever heard of Chameleon? Chameleon. Uh, yeah, the, the twerk for me song, chick. Oh yeah, okay. That's one of the biggest. Re- that's one of the biggest ways she got on social media and DJs. But she got big on social media though. She was going viral. Yeah. Cause everybody was doing videos and to her T- song. Yeah, and you know T.J. Chapman. Uh, T.J. Chapman show had a lot to do with it too. Cause she submitted it to T.J. Right, Chapman right. shit and like. I say but within once the again, next few weeks and months she was once again that's the power there. of social media yeah yeah definitely you know what I'm saying definitely. the power of social media I don't know how many times that shit got to show to you nigga yeah you know y'all nigga got to see and just pay attention true you pay attention that's the power of social media you yeah, know definitely. what I'm saying and I remember TJ was saying on his show like he was like this girl song is everywhere in the country right now and she still ain't spent a penny right. on promoting his record right Right. She ain't spent not no amount of money you know, promoting the record, to. and she got all these folks twerking to it, making videos and twerking to the song, and DJs all over. I mean, I heard it in mention one night. I'm like, God damn! I feel like them niggas that doing all that type of shit like that, and, and then turning around and complaining about it is them motherfucker who like them like trying to be cocky, right. like the motherfucker who feel like. You know, you got you got people who who want to feel like I'm doing something that these niggas ain't doing, or you know what I'm saying? I got some shit going that the next nigga ain't doing. So I spend my money on this because nigga ain't doing that shit. So then right. I have a way, now I can get on here and be like, shit, nigga, I need woo woo woo, nigga, your shit ain't on this, nigga, your shit ain't on that, right. or nigga, you ain't paying and doing this. Right. You know what I'm saying? But shout is a perfect example. You don't need all that. Exactly. You don't got to do all that if you can gain your following. 
Thanks. Your music gonna speak for itself. Thanks. She was smart for what she did because she took an old song and pretty much she sampled it, but she didn't sample. She did and didn't at the same time. The beat sounds. What very song similar. is that though? Stand by me. Stand, yeah. Stand yeah. by me. Yeah. Stand by me. Yup, that's all. She it. took that, but she turned it into some twerk shit because yeah. everybody twerking that. Right. All the female twerking. That, well, I ain't gonna say all of them, but all you know, of them. All of them twerking yeah. right now. Damn near all of them twerking. So to make a catchy song with a catchy hook about twerking. They gonna run with that That's the big shit right now They gonna, they, they gonna run with that All real so. Twerking and being a thot Exactly So if you Make a song about being a thot Or being a hoe like that, You might just go somewhere Come on man shit. Make it a song about being a hoe And fucking a bunch of niggas Facts. And sucking nigga dick and shit Facts. You gonna blow as a female artist Right And she then you wind up like Tokyo Jigs Trying to explain to people that You know <laughs> You wasn't talking about them personally <laughs> Cause I see her like they were clown. They were trying to talk about her on social media because she got pregnant. Yeah, and they were like, shit. "Damn, you were just in the songs talking about fuck that nigga, and you ain't trying to be in a nigga mix." And she responded to one of them people, and she was like, "I was saying fuck that nigga. I wasn't talking about telling you to say fuck yo nigga." Right. Like, <laughs> right. But they don't be right. looking at that shit like that. Right. I'll be following Jack. behind Beyonce. Beyonce tell y'all if he if he like it, he should have put a ring on it. So y'all leaving your goddamn man because he ain't put a ring on right. it. And she go home to Jay Z and lay up with his ass happily ever after. Like, and y'all better uh, look it up. Motherfucker, pay too much attention to other Thanks. motherfuckers' opinion and what other Thanks. motherfucker got going on. Thanks. But yeah, man, artists, man, y'all just I don't know, man. I don't know. Tighten up out here. Tighten up Quit crying Talk Quit complaining bitching. Quit bitching Quit talking about The city need to link up And get together And if everybody Get together And push one nigga The city gonna blow up That ain't gonna that's work That's some whole shit That ain't gonna work To me personally That's some whole shit Cause I feel like That's ego tripping Like your ego Got to be real big First of all That ain't gonna work Because okay When everybody get together Now everybody probably Gonna be here I ain't gonna get behind That nigga exactly. I'm better than that nigga Exactly Why we Why I can't be the first exactly. Nigga y'all get behind exactly. You know what I'm saying They gonna be that, that They gonna come shit. up Every single time And I'm gonna be Completely honest with you A nigga wouldn't be wrong For thinking like that Here, Here's something One thing I've always understood Your best investment Will always be on yourself True Your best bet Will True. always be True. on yourself but So why would I put my future In the hands of Maybe he might maybe. But in the other but, hand On the other side you, you gotta be able to You gotta be able to Realize the opportunity Facts So if you got somebody You might be better than them Right You might be hotter than them But if they got some shit going And they got You know what I'm saying The looks Right And they got the amount of people Looking at them And they got really An opportunity or a chance To be able to Turn something into something why not get behind that motherfucker? Oh, you know oh see, I do that. I mean, that's not, once that motherfucker go, that's an opportunity for you. Believe that. Man, I'm the type of person. I don't like. It's a lot of niggas don't think like that though. But me personally, I wouldn't have no issue with doing something like that. I'm nah. doing it now because, like I said, I quit being a rapper. I was a rapper long, long, long time ago. I quit being a rapper, and now I push other rappers. What's your rap name, Will? Huh? What was your rap name? I don't even want to say. Come on, bro. Let us was. hear. Man. I know. I know it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. Nah, it was something simple actually. It, it was uh, it was just a play on my government name, you know. My 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 first name start with a C and I'm Lil, so it was just Lil C. Okay, that ain't too bad. Yeah, it ain't, that ain't too bad. bad. But it's kind of corny as hell to me. So yeah, that ain't too bad. It, it wasn't something that was just gonna stick out and let my music was just really the shit. Like ain't nobody just looking for a nigga named Lil C. Long as you want, really. long as you want, dope but trail or right. Run that sack up trail, you know. Dope but trail would actually kind of be dope, but DBT, you know, huh? DBT, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That 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 would have actually been kind of dope, but you know, my boy Dope Boy Rara ran off of that, so we're gonna let yeah. him have that. Yeah, we're gonna let Rara have it. I like Rara. Facts. I like that nigga. Slept on like a motherfucker. Yeah, but he yeah. don't do no bitching and complaining about it. Jail working. I don't feel like he slept on though. I feel like he he working his lane. Facts. I ain't really think ain't working no. for him, though. Yeah. I mean, he 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 getting in a position. Nigga, I know well, he, he getting a lot of famous niggas. Right. I know he getting shows. I know Facts. he getting plays. Facts. He can get featured with whatever he want. Facts. You know what I'm mean? saying? Shit. He playing in lane. I wouldn't really say he slept on. He could be a little bigger. True. But but that's his that's his lane at the end. Yeah. You know? I feel the end. same way with Starlito. He in his lane. Yeah. 
I can I kind of feel like Starlito slept on, but only based on like industry the terms. outlook of pe- uh, how people you know what I'm saying right. like if you not a J. Cole or a Kendrick or one of the mainstream ass nigga you ain't lyrical you know what I'm saying right. that how these motherfuckers ain't. you right. ain't lyrical you ain't got them right. talking about nothing you ain't hip hop because right. you ain't Drake or Kendrick or Cole you know and what I'm, I'm saying I'm tired of people saying Drake is hip hop Drake is a culture vulture that first and foremost second of all Drake whoa, has whoa, 72 whoa, 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 credited whoa. writers on his shit how in the hell is you a lyricist with 72 credited credited that's the key word to that credited writers What's oh, wrong with having writers though? Ain't bro. nothing wrong with having writers, but my thing is now this 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 part of the game I am stuck in the old school and forever will be. If you holler you the best and you this, that, and the third, but it took 70-something motherfuckers to write that best material. You just need to shut the fuck up and humble yourself just a tad bit. I don't care how many records you selling. I don't think so. I though, do. Bro. I feel, though. I feel like if you ain't writing that shit, how you going to claim you all, so much better than these First days? of all, If I had those I don't, 72 credited writers, but who's see, to say I wouldn't be I think that's a mis- that like I think that. that's a misconception that people have, though, because I don't feel like Drake just 100% just let other motherfuckers just write all shit. his shit. I feel like Drake yeah, man, Mo- Bro you gotta look Drake, Drake more talented Than that Cause Drake got credit For being the writer himself For writing shit You know yeah, what I'm saying does, That does. ain't even hip hop shit Drake, Drake is a does. writer You know what I'm saying uh, Like yeah, he writing R&B, writer. R&B songs an R- yeah, And all an R&B type writer, shit An R&B writer But, but they write I don't shit. feel like He a hundred percent Is just letting Motherfucker write his shit I no, think that's just Something that people Just say, taking and throwing And blowing it out of proportion Like See that why the weekend left OVO, because when the weekend was over there, he had to give up so many of his own songs to Drake. Now after a while, you gonna get tired of that shit, especially for this motherfucker to be the one in the camera and everybody saying he the he the illest nigga, he the dopest nigga, and you looking at this that, shit but, like damn five of these got, damn songs. But you gotta look at about posi- you shit. gotta look at positioning though, just like you say. Okay, you gotta realize the opportunity. The weekend would not be who he is if it weren't for Drake. Can we agree on that? To a certain extent, the weekend no, can no, no, have no. the weekend can have these hot ass songs. The weekend wouldn't be nobody if he hadn't left. He wouldn't be who he is if he, if he hadn't left. left Drake. Oh, yeah, well, nah, if he hadn't nah, left, I, I can Drake. take that. But would we know who he is? Because he he wasn't Possible. just he wasn't just starting as an artist when That's he was true. fucking with Drake. That's true. You see what I'm saying? That's true. He been an artist but with the type of songs that he was making. He could have did that without Drake, and Drake understood that was why he was snatching to, his songs. Could up. he have got and, to the platform? That's why he was snatching and, his songs. Wait, 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 keep this in mind too. That's why he was snatching keep, his keep all that shit in mind that them niggas is from Canada too, mm-hmm. so right. they all came really across right. the border in a way right. together. Right, right, right. So, uh, so I mean, but, but, in, right. in Canada, he had some type of whoever the fuck he was. Exactly, he was already he famous. Was, yeah, he was somebody in Canada. He was famous in a whole other country. But the platform that he's on without Drake. Do y'all think that right now yes. he would be where he is Thanks. right now had he, had he not went Drake through to get Drake? There. He had to leave. He had to leave Drake to get right. there. Right, but, but in order to leave Drake, you got to get with Drake in the beginning. You got to get with Drake That's at one time to be able to leave him. That's true. Had he not got with Drake, would he have been in the position to be where he is now that he's left him? Still possibly, I, yes. I, I thought, yeah. I think possibly. Just, I, think, I ain't saying so. it's guaranteed. I, I, only, reason I'm gonna say, I, only reason I'm going to say yes. yes, only reason I say yes to that is because Drake opened that Canada um, flood line, right? He made you know, what I'm saying he got the Canada. tour lanes, and everybody else started coming out of Canada. Exactly. So yeah, now I can understand. Maybe, that. maybe, exactly. maybe it would have just took a little bit more time right. for the weekend to get that name. I mean, outside I, of that, I outside understand of that. that once somebody dropped from a certain area, that you know, it started opening doors for niggas in that area. True that. I understand that. You know what I'm saying? But I also feel like you know, as an artist, if you fucking with somebody that's a real major artist. And at the time, they way bigger than you, right? And you got a hot song. I would rather take my credit as being a writer and let this motherfucker go blow this bitch up, right? Versus I keeping in my shit but, and it not getting to that plateau. But it's about you know it's, it's more about how you look at it, though. See, the weekend obviously wasn't looking at it that way. The weekend wants to also be. A artist that's recognizing it, and he ain't wrong for that. That's nigga not recognizing opportunity. He, he, no, 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 no. Here's the thing: is 
he did recognize the opportunity because he could have fought not to give Drake them songs if he really wanted to. Right. Because he's the writer. Right. So ain't shit Drake could have to force him to give him and them then, songs. And then so think he about, understood think the, about the plateau that it'll put you on as big as an artist as Drake is. Right. And you as a credited artist. Right. You a credited writer but, for this artist. But now that's opening though. If, you if you're somebody right, that's also trying to be in that in that line like now if you just somebody that's just trying to be a writer and don't care about you know that then yeah that's different but if you're also trying to be in the line like no matter uh, I understand like understanding the opportunity but after a while you're still gonna want to do more than that you're still gonna want to do that's not gonna work for you forever if you don't have that mindset yeah, and the weekend yeah. obviously didn't. You know what I mean? He not wrong for that. And, and if he, he the one writing this song, I feel like he's I feel like he's spiteful now. But I feel like it that was like, him letting Drake getting certain shit and certain shit like that. I feel like that was the best move that he could have made. But, for yeah, him. Like, definitely. I agree with that. And then you got to keep in mind at I the time that. that this whole Drake and Weekend shit was like when they were together. Right. This is early Drake. It's still all you Drake. heard out Drake yeah. now was OVO and EXO. He was saying OVO and EXO because yeah, so. EXO is. Is the weekend shit Right But now he just screamed over yo Cause you know Weekend went and did His own thing That's true But, but I can't the, be mad at Weekend For wanting credit When Cause when he first left Drake Him and Drake Wasn't even talking Drake wasn't even Mention the man's name It took for that man To get on stage And say thank you Drake For you know The opportunity For Drake to even Acknowledge him So You I mean, want credit foul, That's a foul out but If listen, I'm the hottest artist right. In the world his, And his I have a foul And not with somebody That was under my label Hell no, nah, I'm gonna make sure that I don't personally be responsible for you getting no attention. Right, I understand you know that. What I'm but that, that, but my point is, in general, it goes back to the point of wanting to be credited for something. You can't be mad at the nigga who actually wrote the records for wanting to be credited if the nigga who didn't even write the songs and just true sung true. the shit want to be credited. But How you gonna want to be credited and be mad at me but, for wanting to be credited? But you also can't get mad at me. For us having a file now. No, nah, he wasn't mad at him for having a file. Now. Speak on he wasn't mad at him. He wasn't mad at him for that. At Cause, all. Cause regardless of if it. I regardless of if I say something he about you him. or if I speak your name, if you don't got your paperwork right, you gain your credit. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So if I say your name or not, you still getting your credit. Tony your money. But me, going on me saying place? your name ain't gonna do nothing but just make you hotter. Right. So I would. I, you know, I agree with that. Right. Nigga, hell no, I ain't gonna say your but name. Gonna you got me. your paperwork. Your name is on this shit. So shit, if a motherfucker look into that shit and see, oh, the weekend has something to do with this shit, boom, that go your credit. But I ain't gonna make sure that a motherfucker right. can know to look, to look into that. You right. know what I'm saying? See, that's what, that's what, uh. Not after a foul lot. And then it show, could you? Like you say, that's when they was great, what was Drake saying? OVO and XO, OVO so and XO. He was so, giving them right, the credit when was. they were straight. So after but, a foul out, you can't but, expect that from me. But it's a difference between mentioning my name versus, hey, he helping me out with this shit. He done wrote a few hits for me. Like, it's, it's, it, it's people that have came out and let it be known that such and such done wrote this particular song and this, then the third. Like, when TLC but had no scrub. Yeah, you don't have to. But that's, you don't have that's to. for the motherfucker who but, go like inquire say, for that. You know, because like I'm pretty though, sure that it's written down. If you go look into the writers and shit, like I say, though, it, it goes it back up. to looking at your character. If you don't even want to credit this motherfucker for the songs he writing, that's cool. But don't get mad when he finally get tired of being under you and decide I want to go do my thing. Because hell, I'm the one writing half your shit. But Take care was, was the weekend. When, when he, the whole album was the weekend. Was, when he was with him, he was giving him me credit. No, he wasn't. Folks had to go look at saying OVO and XO and letting it be known that this motherfucker is responsible for and the whole entire album is two different things, man. That's two different things. But that's just if you feel like he was responsible for the entire album. He was. You can go look at the credits. Go look at the credits. We can't I'm saying just because you got a writer credit don't mean that you wrote everything. You can put a line in and get a writer credit. It's true. You know what I'm saying? That's true. But we all know it was deeper than that. We don't know that, though. Yes, we do. Listen, How? listen, listen. Uh, Party Next Door was another artist signed to yeah. They was in the studio, bro, when they was talking about that work song. This man had the entire song already, and he was gonna put Rihanna on it, but he gave it to Drake. 
Well, Drake probably, you know, behind closed doors. But the thing about that is, people do that all the yeah, time. Yeah, they do it all the time. Though. They do it all the time. People buy songs from motherfuckers they and do it all shit the like that all but the time. my thing is, if you got artists signed to you and you supposed to be the hottest, best thing in the world, but behind closed doors, these artists that sign to you, you just really snatching up their songs and making them and taking them for yourself and using them. I uh, nigga, you can do more than just shout him out and say OVO and EXO. You can say shout out to the weekend man, cause he a big part of what I do. Cause you do it for you do it for forty all the time. You playing favoritism. You shout out forty and give him his credit all the damn time. You can't get weekend. I just feel credit. like I just feel like that's a little spiteful, and that's just it a is. nigga. That's just it a is. nigga. It I'm is. talking about on the weekend part. I feel like he being a little spiteful, and he expecting a lot more right than what a nigga though. has he to do. He was right though, because listen, if you I'm never on expect, your team, you never expect listen. more from a motherfucker than what they have to do. That's true. You know what I'm saying? But he did what he had. Once to. again, you can't be mad at a nigga for feeling the way the weekend felt. If I'm under you and in your songs, you say, "Oh, I wouldn't even have none of this going on if it wasn't for forty. Drake can say shit like that in songs on multiple occasions. He right though, because forty is the producer. Facts. But for the ain't writing beats. these songs, he, he can make all the beats he want to. He ain't writing these songs. But he can make all the songs he wants so to. That's, that's, no that's, 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 that's go, that goes both ways, though. So I if you can credit that, the though. producer, nigga, you can credit the nigga writing your goddamn songs. Bro. But see, that's, and if he decides that's, to say that's fuck from it. that's from us looking at the view of Saint, just us guesstimating on him just writing all the man shit. I don't feel like he just sitting down right now, that man. Shit, a line or two, a hook the, or something. Because Ain't when you got a wrong thousand songwriters, <laughs> you don't need one person to write all of it. This man got a whole team of them. But Kanye he also got writes credits on his shit. He it's got like, he got it, writing credits on Kanye. Say that. I was just finna say and that. And Kanye got a bunch of writers. Facts. You know what I'm saying? But Facts. motherfucker, don't discredit Kanye for it. I do. I'm talking about on a broad stream, on a, uh, on, a, on, a, on a major stream. Motherfucker don't discredit Kanye should. for it. They should. They should. They should. Because I don't see how you hollering, you the dopest, illest, woo the woo the woo. Hell, nigga, Jay Z wrote some of his records. And then niggas will turn around and say he rap better than Jay Z. How? Just like a nigga like Diddy. Diddy is how? more of an overseer. Right. See, Diddy. That play. same shit they be talking about, Dre. Yeah. Dre will get a nigga beat. Facts. And critique it. Facts. Put this, put this here. Put this down yeah, here. Put this down here. Definitely. And then, nigga, this a Dre beat. Definitely. You know, it's the same thing. But nigga, don't discredit Dre. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing. But they should though. But it's not. Is 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 known that niggas do that shit. That's something that's normal in music. Facts. I just don't understand yeah, why. It's, it's very normal. It's just so big. It's very so it just come from when it the comes simple. Drake. Comes to, like, but see, certain people only act like that towards Drake. Me, I I'm, I had that same attitude towards anybody who's guilty of that. That gonna be the whole music industry. Yeah, pretty much. Ain't nobody wrote and made a hundred percent of oh, their no, shit. Not one hundred percent of their music. So that's the whole but industry. There's a lot of people who have done the majority of their shit, and and that person to me has more of a lane to say I'm that nigga or I'm better than all these motherfuckers than the nigga who got seventy two credited fucking writers on one album, bro. On one just album. like, just like one Kanye, album. just like Kanye and Jay. One album. Jay Z was not here. Oh, I give Kanye all the credit. Right. Woo 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 for this. Woo woo. Kanye was a nigga that motherfucker really didn't even know nothing about. Nah. He was producing for nigga like Jay right. and shit right. like that. Right. And he was getting his credit as right. being the motherfucker for producer for right. the hottest rapper. Right. He took that and turned that right. into his career. But that's what I'm that's saying. What you Listen do. What you don't just, just expect the motherfucker. Listen to what you just said. He was getting his credit. But that's what I'm saying. The weekend was in his he, he getting his credit. He's credited he on Drake being, shit as a writer. Yeah, that's but, your credit. Just like Kanye, Kanye was credited on Jay Z shit as a writer. In but Jay Z didn't. He was credited in behind scenes later. videos and later. You know, that's just, the well, that's just because motherfucker was recording shit. You know what I'm saying? Right, I mean, right, that's on right. video shit. You right. know what I'm saying? But the same way that Jay Z was giving Kanye his credit and Kanye took that shit and turned that shit into his career. Facts. That's the same way the, the same Drake thing was giving did. Drake was giving the weekend his credit. That's it's your responsibility but, but, to take that and turn that into did, your though. career. But that's what he did. But when he did it, Drake expected him to still be under him and his label when he did it. So when he left and did his own thing, now you mad at the man? How you mad at him? You, he just as much responsible for your. How we know he mad, he, he mad at him? I ain't hear Drake say I'm mad at him. He ain't have to say it. He ain't have to say it. Actions speak louder. 
But if he left, I don't got an obligation to do no shouting him out or I no don't. nothing. But I ain't got no obligation to be mad at a nigga just because he left. I ain't how, mad at how we know he mad at him? I ain't mad. He, he came he out was and said, at I don't fuck with the weekend. He was at one point, but he was just on some behind the scenes shit. That's why I said when the weekend finally got on stage and said, Oh, Drake, thank you, and all that. Now all of a sudden you want to come out and wrap your arms around the nigga and all this other shit. That was probably the way he he feeling like we reconciling this situation that Believe we that. fell out about. Facts. You know? But you fell out about him leaving your ass. You can't use him no more. He gone now. That's what you mad about. I don't know. I don't think people give Drake enough credit. I think they give him you know, too much. Because I don't feel like Coach motherfuckers Bojie did Drizzy, that's what I 100% <laughs> riding his shit yeah, and Coach just Bojie. 100% DJ helping DJ Khaled. Him. All them niggas, them niggas is coach bullshit. So how does he have the talent to help so many other motherfuckers? Who that? Kelly? Drake. Uh, if he just Listen, it goes both ways. Like I say, it goes both ways. But going both ways means I'm just saying like why if, should if, you be the only one getting the knowledge and the other person shouldn't if and when they if take he's it, getting you mad. I just don't understand how niggas just don't give him his credit. If he talented enough to go to other genres and to other rappers, big ass rappers, right. and be credited for writing for them. True that. How do we just discredit all of his shit? Like he just ain't talented and motherfucker carrying him. Oh, yeah, I understand but that part. He can go write for other motherfuckers. I understand that part. You see what I'm saying? I understand that part. But if you seem to have so much of a problem with another motherfucker getting credit, why should I give you credit? Fuck your credit. I don't know. I just <laughs> think it's the way we looking at it. Like we just ain't looking at I will right forever way. hate Drake and, and, the and, 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 and the light skinned delegation of America. Listen. Damn. I've always so had I think it's issue. deeper than Drake then. Yeah, it's, it's definitely deeper than Drake. Now, I hated yeah. Drake at a point in time. I loved you know him at first. Saying? I loved him at I first. I hated but, him at first. But me personally, this is me personally. Any nigga who's too arrogant, too cocky to me becomes feminine. It's a certain point that you take that shit. I, I understand pop your shit, you know what I'm saying? But it's Talk a certain point shit. where you got the right to be there. But at some point in time, you start sounding like a female when you go too far with it. And to me, Drake just started sounding like a little girl, man. But I'm does he not have the right to be arrogant? Yeah, but not like you know a little girl, though. Because T.I. was an arrogant motherfucker. He my favorite rapper of all time. Ain't too many niggas in the game more arrogant than T.I. Ain't too many people more arrogant than that nigga, but don't be little girl arrogant. Be grown man arrogant. You know, Drake is kind of feminine with it. And that's just, you know, once you niggas get to that point, I just, you know. I think I Drake's just a different person. He is. T.I. is a street nigga. In facts. You know what I'm saying? So he going to take his arrogance a different way. In facts. Than a motherfucker who just not that. And, and try saying? to be that. Cause he definitely be trying. Oh, he be nice talking bro. tough shit in this song. Talking about like nigga. He be talking about what his shooters gonna do sometime, and they'll do this to you. And my clicker do this. My nigga, you got robbed in your city, and you made a whole statement. You told the police, but when Wayne get locked up, you always fuck the police shit. But you ratted on the nigga in real life. He ain't like, part nigga of the put street, that though. shit out there. Exactly. But he ain't you, part of the street. But, got air right to tell the police. Exactly. You know but don't turn around and be capping with all this fuck the police shit. Obviously, you got much love for the police. You can Obviously, still feel like them fuck your the friendly police. little neighbors. So don't say fuck them. You can still feel like fuck the go, police if you feel when like they go did down and you gonna call them and make if it, you and feel make like if you feel like they did some injustice shit to somebody that you fuck with or somebody you got a relationship with, True. you got the right to say fuck the police, but, but still be a citizen and call the police. This my you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? V, I don't think you can pick and choose. With people that, in the, people you that ain't in the street. If you ain't, if you ain't in the street, not. if you ain't in the street, you got every right to call the police. Facts and tell the police. But you got every you right to street, remember that heart. when you come to your 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 mind to say fuck the police, you got to remember, hey, I'm a civilian that has told the police on niggas before. Why am I going to get on song and be like fuck the police? I now? can still feel like fuck the police, even though I told the police before. <laughs> I feel like they did some wrong shit this time. They did my home, but wrong, so fuck them niggas. But if some shit happened, I'm going to call them. You can't be a rat. You know what I mean? That's just me personally. Like, I don't think I you're right. Like, I ain't stuck in my ways about old oh, shit, but it's certain things that the old school just stuck to me. You so, can't give a nigga that, lab, that rat label if they a civilian. You can't if they capping like they ain't. 
I mean, if he did technically tell, he told across the border, so he's not a snitch in America. Right, 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 <laughs> right. So he's talking be- all this hard OVO gangster shit. Ain't nothing happened to Pusha T yet, by the way. But a it producer, a beef, but, a producer but a producer that didn't want to sign to you got ganged up on by three of your peoples and sent to the hospital. Come on, bro. Try that with Pusha, and I'll give you some respect. Because you know not to play that with a nigga that's really about that, that bullshit. We got no but you're going to get a weak-ass yeah. producer that dresses like a female. And, uh, yeah, dresses like a little girl. I, I'm tight, super tight, spandex pants and... All these other little shit that niggas nowadays do, and you want to gang up on, and you jumped them. Y'all people jumped him. You could have whooped that man ass one on one. He probably would have cried like a little girl and called the police on your ass. It might have been some money. It might have been some money shit involved. It wasn't no money. You wasn't signing Drake. You wasn't signing Drake. He was a cash money producer. It might have been some shit that had to do with my business. He was a cash money producer. Cad Money ain't got down. He was a cat. If anybody should be jumping him, it should be Birdman. Drake is a Cad Money artist. A Cash Money artist, not the owner, not the CEO, not the president. Was a Cash Money artist. He's not Cash Money. An uh, artist. There's a difference between you being an artist versus you being the one investing into this person. I don't want to speak on that because I don't, we don't know the inside. If, Bird, if Birdman ain't kidnapping, why are you ganging up on him? That's how I'm looking at it. If Birdman ain't jumped on this nigga yet, why are you jumping on him? No, I don't know nothing about that one. It's easy to pick on weak niggas. I know that much. It's easy to pick on a weak nigga. But when a nigga that's really about some shit come at your neck, you you want some other type shit. Man. I don't see what, what everybody's problem with Drake is. I hate him. That's what my problem is. <laughs> I used to love that nigga. I swear to God I did. Like, the way I dislike him now, you wouldn't even believe me if I told you how much of a Drake, a Drake I mean, when, fan when I used you, to be. When did you start just to hate Drake? Like I say, like when you when you just get so okay. feminine, he got, too, he got ways, too too arrogant for you. It, it ain't even just the arrogant. Cause like I say, but he guys, was more feminine back when he first came. Nah, no, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. He more feminine now than he ever been. Have you not seen this nigga <laughs> like <laughs> when the Heat won the championship and he went to the club and he was hugged up with LeBron like that was his boyfriend or something like. Like, come on, dog. You can't be no groupie to a whole another man like that. And you the biggest artist in the game. Drake, he, he, he's got to be. He want to be a basketball wife very badly. He's a sports <laughs> fan, bro. Ain't nothing wrong with being a sports it, fan. It ain't nothing wrong with being a sports fan. But being a grown man who wants to be a basketball wife, that's a different story. You know, I'm not finna be in the club hugging up with these niggas like, you know, like something going on like that. Like, I, he I, is a, he's, he's a team he's jumper Very, now. very much so. I think he was a team jumper. I think he just was happy for LeBron. He fought nah, with LeBron. It ain't even just about LeBron. It's, it's he, he's a team Who's jumper. ever the hottest a team at any time, he's, he became a, he's a fan of them. I fought with the players, though. And it's set right now because Toronto, his exactly. team, his, yeah. his team. Exactly. Yeah, other than that, he the brand ambassador of them now. He has KD. When Miami won, bro, he won no, the no, brand no, 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 ambassador. Listen to, me, listen to me. He has KD and Steph Curry tattooed on his arm. Cause he a sports fan. <laughs> That's gay. Birdman got Lil Wayne on him. That's, that's a whole different ball they game. They kiss mouth to mouth. Yeah, that's, before, a, so. that's different. You know, that's, that's a different. You can't compare Birdman getting a tattoo of Lil Wayne to Drake getting KD right. and Steph so Curry. Birdman did it technically. Pretty much helped yeah, raise Lil Wayne. Why the so fuck it's he still got gay, but why you the fuck know, he got it's more exactly. understandable. It's more understandable to a nigga you help raise versus, oh, I'm just a fan of him because I watch him play basketball. I'm gonna go tattoo his name on me. Nah, bro. Yeah, he got the tattoo. Nah, wow. bro. Don't know. That's why he had his arm covered when nah, he's playing bro. him. That's why he got the bands and stuff over his yeah, arm. There's something ain't right about that. So At he's all. a he's a pretty known group, yeah, groupie yeah. for a hot team. Facts. I can tell you that. Thanks. He's a groupie in the industry too. When rappers are hot, he fuck with them. When they're not hot no more, he stop all of a sudden fucking with them. That's called being an opportunist. Facts. Realizing opportunity. Facts. But but the, and but, he helped people. I'm gonna say in Drake time. in Drake defense, he's helped people you know in that same yeah, sense. But Drake it's been people that at a time when he came in the game, they was already who they were, and he did the same shit with them. Like with Rick Ross, when Rick Ross was at the height of his career, you was on his dick pretty hard. Y'all were talking about doing a whole mixtape together and all that. But then when Ross wasn't just so hot no more, you ain't did a song with this man or mention this man or no mixtape that was supposed to happen. You just Ross went to the main road, man, bro. Though. You, that's what I'm saying, though. That's Ross my point. That. That's my point. He ain't hot like but that no more. he has dropped stuff. Right. That, I get, I get, I and where have you been? 
But he's not hot like he used to be. But he's not the hot hand, so you not fu- DJ Khaled did the same thing. DJ Khaled came in with Terror Squad, right? True. But when Cash Money was the hottest thing in the world, he jumped ship for Terror Squad. It's cash Money. And when that situation didn't work out because he got fucked on the business side, who was the hot hand then as far as who artists keep signing management deals with? Rock Nation, right? Every time you turn around, somebody else signing Rock Nation. Now you ran your ass over there. Kyle doing good being there, it's, it's, That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Hey, you see some that's shit cool. about nigga. See, you get the thing. fuck out of that. Listen, I, I had a, I had a, I had a conversation with one of my partners about niggas who play the game but pretend like they're not playing the game. I can respect. We gotta, who, we gotta who, stop. Who be known we gotta stop looking at the music industry no, no, as no, if no, it's no. some, Listen. some gang or like but some when you loyal type saying shit. that out your mouth, I can look at it that way. What's Kelly main thing he be talking about? Loyalty is one of them, right? Loyalty is one of them. Family but just types because, of real but family. Just because, we business just because business wise, I go somewhere else, that don't mean I ain't loyal to you. I, just on the that, business aspect of it, this business ain't finna nah, be successful no more. So shit, I'm finna go. Time, bro, I, can, I can literally say you're doing it. And even with Epic Records, because Epic Records got hot because they kept signing everybody from Yo Gotti to Rick Ross did a deal with them. Boom, hot hand. Now you did a deal with Epic Records. And when your album debut at number two instead of number one, you go spaz out on your label. Yeah, he was kind of But bad. you was dick hopping. Nah, bro. You, you dick hopped your ass like over there. Don't get mad now. Cause you can't look at it like that, yes, though, Yes, again, man. Yes, that's can. that's business. Cali, though. See, uh, I got, that's business, I got, bro. It is, but at the same time, when that's you, business. That's just you, like that's just like you, if, that's just like if you and your home but going listen, to a business and y'all listen, got them put y'all money together listen, or something and y'all make some shit going listen, and y'all got some shit going and saying. the shit finna fall and you know shit. If I fall, shit, listen, I'm gonna be losing. Shit, listen, why the fuck not? Get out. That don't mean listen, we ain't listen, 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 listen. I want you to understand something. I've been in a situation like that. And I left, but I didn't just go jump on the next hot hand, though. But you if, see you, what I'm if saying? you was to do that, what's wrong with it? It's wrong with it when you friend like that's not what you're doing. That's when it's wrong. It's not a real, I don't have an issue with, if you're going to do that, do that. But don't cap like that ain't what you're doing. Don't sit right in front of me and play the game and try to convince me that you're not playing the game. Because now you got a mask on. That's just like if you're a manager. And my art is hot. Right. I'm your manager. Right. And then shit fall off. Right. You ain't hot no more. Right. You ain't got there, got shit going on no more. Right. But then I got this next motherfucker who coming up who finna be hot. And they want me to be their manager you based off of. Your brain and go be look, manager. look, though, look, though. They want me to be their manager based off of they see what I did with you. Be, you that your brain me, that and me go being, be your manager. But that ain't me being disloyal to it's you. It's not. No, it's not at all. It's not at all. It's not at all. So this is what I'm saying. Though. This is what I'm saying because I stand on, I stand on certain principles and certain laws about how I carry myself to do certain shit. If what we just doing is business, that's what it is. Like that's how I'm gonna say it. Like whether it be to you personally or to the public. Oh, we do good business. That's just like with the Drake and uh with Drake and Future doing the mixtape together. They asked Drake about the shit. I mean, they asked Future about it in the interview, and Future didn't cap like, "Oh, this a family type thing." Like he like, we do good business together. Like we we make good music together, and that's what it is. I can respect that because you just let it know what it is. Don't sit there and say we are big happy family and Bruh, blah, blah, blah. That's, just like, that's just like that's just like that's just like a nigga. Really that's just, just like a nigga really, being on a team. And they interview this nigga and they team and all that. And they're like, yo, we're a big family. Right. We go out every day and play ball. Right, right, we're a right. goddamn family. Woo, right, woo, woo. Right. And then free agency come up and you got a better opportunity somewhere else and you go sign up. That ain't goddamn no, you being this lawyer. That's you not. taking the opportunity. It's not. That's you going on it's with not. your business. But when you don't even fuck with those people like that for real and they can't even get in contact with you, you fucked over your own artist. That man fucked they hood over so bad, bro. It ain't even funny. He ain't fucked they hood over. Yes, though. he did, bro. Yes, he did, bro. Trust bro, me. He did. I know people. One for DJ Khaled, listen, there would be no ace hood. Damn fact. We're not listening to ace hood without DJ Khaled. That's not the point, though. He fucked them over, period. Whether we would know about him without him or not, he fucked them over. Period. How can you feel like somebody that gave you everything is fucking he you fucked up? Fucked him you over. over. Period. You lock this man into a, a contract with Cash Money Records, knowing Cash Money don't pay no damn artist. But is that my you fault? Jumped your, yeah, it is. When you sign a deal, if I, if you my artist and uh, you own my label, right, and I saw an opportunity 
over at Cash Money because I thought the grass was greener on the other side, which is part of the reason why Ross was beefing with Birdman in the first place because you hopped your bitch ass over there and Birdman fucked you over. Now, instead of just signing a personal deal with this man, you sign one for your whole label, which locks Ace Hood into a contract automatically with these people. You didn't even give that man a choice in that situation of whether he wanted to deal with them like that or not. You know, so now he choice. over there stuck in the contract getting fucked by them. That's your responsibility, man. He don't you have a choice. You take that responsibility Hell, to no. when, you, when you a boss, you take that responsibility in a situation like that. It's just like you own a business and a goddamn another company want to come buy your business or invest in your business. Right. Nigga, I'm doing good business by doing that. But not when it's with Birdman, when you just turn around and tell Ross how he fucked you over and now you got Ross dissing the man on songs. That's that's the whole thing about jumping hand to hand, shit to shit, bitch to bitch. Between Birdman and, and, and Ross, no, that's a personal shit between Birdman and Kelly and Ross trying to. You I don't know, think he going to the man like, hey, bitch, that nigga. Listen to the song, bro. Listen to the song. Listen to I uh, I become right. Now he his, said his, his, his he said the reason why he song. beefing it because he got the outside look into something that's going on or inside look and I don't like the way shit was handled with a nigga that I know or right. a nigga that I fuck with. Right. But that's not me going to you saying go dish this nigga for me. I ain't saying he saying you know what I'm saying. Nigga for me. I'm saying just in general, you jumped over there because they had the hot hand. Failing to realize the niggas, the thousands of niggas that came before you that been told you Birdman a dirty business man. They been told you this nigga ain't finna pay you no royalty. Tiger sat in an interview with the Breakfast Club and told these folks, I had never been paid a royalty check by Young Money Cash Money. That's just me doing bad business. And people, then you gonna turn people, around and do a deal with them. And but, you fucked your father's But over. you're you're entitled to do bad business just like you're you entitled are, to do but good when business. When it's fucking somebody else over too, bro, you you entitled to take that responsibility. Sometimes like being man, it go bro. like that. But everybody in business, everybody not like gonna be man, happy. Bro. Everybody not gonna be satisfied a hundred percent. Take that responsibility like a man. Tell everybody, that man you're wrong, everybody bro. not gonna get. Apologize to that man. The, tell him you're wrong. The good the Tell him you made a bad decision. Be a man about it. Don't run away from that nigga and just leave him sitting there stuck. He got a right to be mad at you. He got a right to be mad at don't me. Don't leave him. Don't leave him stuck. But don't do that to him. Nah, man. Because I wouldn't every day. Like if me and you was in a situation like that, I wouldn't do you like that, bro. Even if I brought you into this situation and you got fucked because I made a bad decision, I would come to you and talk to you man to man and let you know, hey, man, I fucked up, bro. I'm wrong, bro. That, I, that was my bad, bro. And whatever I can do to help you out of this situation, I'm going to do it. I can understand that. But that ain't what Cat did. But he ain't obligated to do it either. He ain't. But it shows your character. You know what I'm saying? Depending on which. That's it, just like it, I said it shows earlier. You make, it shows just your like character. I said earlier. Never expect nobody to never. do more than what they never. obligated never. to do. But you can't you gonna that always, you going to always end up spiteful or end up Definitely. disliking the motherfucker if you expect something more than what they obligated. What you just said, I had to learn that lesson myself the hard way. So trust me, I definitely understand it. But at the same time, even after no longer being spiteful towards that person or no longer hating that person, my growth that I have now, I would still say I wouldn't fuck with that person like that ever again. Right. That's because just a learning. That's a learning situation. Right. I, I know I not to fuck with that person again. I ain't no more. I ain't spiteful towards you no more. But because of how you handle that situation, I can't fuck with you no more. Thank but it, but it being it, I just, I just feel like you know, in business, sometimes shit fucks up. It does. You know what I'm saying? And just because, just because I'm involved in it, or I pull out of it, that don't speak against me right. because I'm taking myself out of some shit that ain't got damn finna work that's or that's finna fuck up. Versus you drag me into it when I ain't even really want to be dragged. That was a me. bad move. And you left me I stuck. fucked up. <laughs> You left and left me stuck. This man got every right. To, he got every right to be mad. At I mean, but you still got choices. Yeah, you do. As a, as, but the, when you're as a motherfucker a in there, you still contract, got choices. Buy yourself out of that motherfucker. But when you're under a certain contract, you know what I mean? You don't have to be stuck in that bitch. Buy yourself out of yeah, that shit. Facts. You know, exactly. if we even go over to cash money, and I feel like hell nah, that situation, I don't want to get in, so I'm just gonna buy out of my contract True. with you, and you take the rest of the motherfuckers right. over there. But when you, you know put that man? trust in the motherfucker, that it, it go like that sometimes, and he had his trust in Kelly. That's just what it was. Sometimes that was just as much as his fault as it was Kelly fault. Sometimes people fuck the trust up. You still up. got the right to be mad. You know what I'm saying? You still got the right to be mad. At I mean, you need to pick who you trust in a little bit. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. Hey, we got DJ Dollar in the building right now. You know yeah, what I'm saying? My nigga just came through. 
What's up, bro? Say some shit, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What's going on, man? Yo, oh, just jumping in the convo with my nigga. We just got down kicking shit, talking shit. Oh, yeah, what's shit. going on, man? So, it's good time. What conversation was about? Man, we, bro, we done. And then, then went to some everywhere, yeah, man. man. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no topic. It's just, just <laughs> going where it's going. Going where it's going. It ain't even the way to explain that shit. You said you go buy a dollar promotion. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, Money bag for promoting that show. I said, man, I got a gift for this, man. I can, right. I can, I can, I can bring folk together, man, right. and get the, and get the, get the word, get the voice heard, man. So it ain't just dollar promotion, ain't just a club. We do charity work, we do events in the community, just trying to get back, bring folk together, you know, because the vibe, the vibe is gonna follow, you know what I'm saying? But united, man, we can stand, we can be some. But you know, I do this, man. Like it really just me by myself right now. You know, I had to cut my whole promo team off. Damn. You know, um. It's after I had a big East Day hunt, you know, and everybody was out there, and you know, my promo team, they supposed to be working. They they too busy want to wear the shirts and just be seen, mm. but don't want to put on no work, you know. So it was dollar promotion is me right now. I got a manager. That's it. We right. travel. I just DJ's in Atlanta last night, so we just traveling, man, putting things together in the community. Next thing I'm gonna do is a talent show, man. You know, since the radio station is doing this year, I'm gonna do a talent show. Okay, I'm looking, I'm, I'm looking at the River Center right now. Are you um, trying to do it big? Yeah, I'm big. trying to do it big. Get the River Center, man. Uh, get one of the theaters and do a talent show. It ain't just going to be categories. Anybody can get in the talent show, man. I don't care what you do. You could be a magician. I don't give a damn what you do. You can yeah. get up there and just, you want a bird to come out your ass, a bird come out your ass. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah, what it is. Kind of talent it is. It's that big, though. That big, though. Big. So that, that net thing I'm working on, man. Collab. I was going to do a block party, but that ain't into too well the last time I did one. Yeah, hey, yeah. Yo. Yo. It just, Gotta do something with a little more structure. Yeah, a little more structure. You know, when I first jumped out there, man, I ain't had, I ain't know what I was going on. I ain't know what I was doing. So now, it is what it is. Now I got, I got a following. I got a backing. You know what I'm saying? I follow Trill all the time. You know what I'm saying? We turn up in the club. Yeah, we man. just, it is what it is. Right. Any club I go in, man, it's it good vibes, man. Y'all kept me down there, Aiden DJing. Every other Saturday, something like that, man. That's where I'm at. Like it top, top. I had one uh, my anniversary party. Sold our crowd, man. So what? Yeah. Like, what exactly is dollar promotion though? Like, what? It's, what? What's the basis of the basis of dollar promotion? To do events, to give people something to do, you know. Um, on and also a platform for artists. You know, artists link in. When I rebuild my promo team, artists want something put out there. My team will put it out there. Social media blast, getting out here in the street. But one thing about it, I tell I tell all artists, you know, you can hire me to promote your stuff, but can't nobody promote you like you. All right. You got to build your own brand. You know, I built my own brand with dollar promotion. So get what I try to get them that same advice, try to show them, try to give them away. The one thing about it, I don't talk about all that much just to promote their music. You bring me some flyers, you bring me some mid tape. Yeah, well, I'm getting my people. They gonna put it out there. They gonna hand them out. They gonna make a name for you. They gonna work for you. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm gonna get you on the radio. That one thing I am, I'm gonna get you that radio energy. Now your music suck. I don't give a damn if it's suck or not. You know what I'm saying? I really don't. You know, if you paying me, right? Yeah, to do a job. Down. You know what I'm saying? It ain't me. It ain't my. It ain't my my position to tell you whether your music good or not. Nah, yeah. I'm promoting it. That's yeah, it. that's it. You know, you ain't trying to. Like, you ain't gonna critique you. Now if you pay me critique you, I'm gonna let you know something. You know what I'm saying? But that's gotta, a little extra. Yeah, that's a little extra. <laughs> you know, then host the mid tapes. I'm from the start. I'm gonna hold my first mid tape. You know, so. Um, they're gonna call this the Street King of Columbus, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do my first mixtape called Street King of Columbus. Just put everybody on there. I think, I don't want nobody to devote to putting them on mixtape. Everybody I think should be on there. Should be right. heard. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because folk, folk buys, man. You know what I'm saying? But the Grounds Dog Promotion, man, it's all about love, man. We, we want a happy family. That's all I try to create a good love environment, man. Bring everybody. Put things out there for everybody to see, man. That everybody don't see. All right. But um, uh, yeah, man. Hey, what's up? Birthday bag coming soon, man. You know. What you got going for the birthday bag? My birthday bag. So. Oh, you got a birthday <laughs> yeah, bag coming? You know, they can have that one in Atlanta all day long. You know, I, I don't never attend things like that, man. You know, I stay out the clubs. You ain't gonna keep me in the club unless I'm getting paid. Yeah. I'm working yeah. or something. Some I got event I got going on. But if somebody having some. I support, you know, I support everybody in the city, man. 
I back here about it if you're doing the right thing. But you know how that go. Um, Tim, you might well go and get back out there and start, you know. No, oh, no. You might well go ahead and drop a track, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Fall back. Oh, no. Man, that was a day back then, man. man. <laughs> Take a person in like the last three days and say that to you, bro. Yeah, you know, fall back, man. <laughs> <laughs> But yo, man, we just in here talking a little shit, man. We just been talking about just like artists in general and just how niggas ain't just taking advantage of everything that they could be and putting themselves in different positions that they could be. You know what I'm saying? That really was the basis of our conversation. And just uh, touch on something right quick. For people who don't know this, I don't charge artists in the city for promotion. I don't. I've never, I've, wait, wait, to wait. this point, I have never charged not wait. one artist in the city to promote them. So, wait, let me get this straight. You be coming around, you see me doing my performances and shit. <laughs> right. And now, once have you came and tried to promote the king of motherfuckers? Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, king. hold on. Big king breakfast nigga wind up on my Facebook. So, oh, I, come on, come I've, on. I've promoted you. Okay. But see, the thing I'm is. Like, oh, it's a tie, it's a tie. A lot of times I've had personal conversations with the people that I promote. I will say that Like the people that I put A big focus on Like Those people I, I had a per, Like Bellwood Black Y'all see like Who I promote More than anybody else Bellwood Fatboy Yayo Front Street Rudy yeah. Kill em Key Like Kill em Key is my cousin right. So that's automatic See Black I've always been A huge fan of him So that's automatic You know And he my cousin too So that's Automatic. All right, wait, wait. Trail, 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 trail. Fuck nah, all that listen, shit. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I started going to the Underground Sound Studio, right? Uh-huh. I started fucking with Ray Baker real tough, you know, and a Sorry, lot of people Ray don't Baker. like Ray Baker, but I don't care. I'm the type of person, I don't care what somebody else think about you. I'm I'm, I'm basing it off right, how me and you rock. Right. That you know what I'm saying? Everybody who got an outside opinion don't matter. Right. So I fuck with Ray. I don't care what nobody say about the nigga. I now, fought with Ray. Shout out to Ray Baker, man. Going to his sign. studio, that's how I linked up with Bellwood, Black, Daddy, all these different people because this is where they record it. Right. They don't go to no other studio. So they be there all the time. And I was there all the time. So I built a personal relationship with Bellwood, with Daddy, with Fat Boy before I ever even promoted them. Right. Okay. People didn't even know I was fucking with them before I was promoting them. Rudy, I've been on Rudy since he was a little in, in elementary school, so I was going to do that for him regardless, you know what I'm saying? So trail, I, I don't trail, charge trail, nobody. Trail, trail, nigga. I didn't ask for an autobiography. Listen, go ahead, say, say what you need to say. <laughs> I ain't asked for no autobiography. <laughs> Mr. King R and B over here. Listen, man. You, you done seen me a lot of times Facts. perform. You, I see you. You know, you, you watch my shit. You Facts. know, you share my shit. Right. Um... I just don't know. You haven't sat down with me because we got a personal relationship. Right, right, right. Right. <laughs> Not once have you said, "Hey, bro, uh, I heard that R&B shit you dropped, that classic shit, and um, you need me to promote you." You know what I'm saying? Ain't no listen, saying. Listen. I want to promote the king of R&B. You know what? Uh, all it takes is a simple conversation. Know, you know, man, to, just, to keep just, it rolling. You know, that's all it takes. I'm just fucking with but you. But speaking on what what he was saying with. Understand the opportunities That's the reason why I don't charge artists Because Just by promoting them On my Instagram My Twitter I've gotten opportunities From people out of town Who've seen what I do For them And be like Hey man I pay you X amount of dollars To goddamn mm. Post my shit Cause you will notice From time to time I'll post out of towners mm-hmm. They the ones I'm charging Right I ain't charging nobody In my city I don't need to I got it I built the name for myself Off of free promotion For niggas right here In the city just by promoting people and supporting people here in the city, I built my name off that. Right. I don't need to charge y'all nothing. These out of town is going to come flock to me, and I'm going to charge they ass. All right. That's just, that just how I'm rocking though. with it. Shout out to uh, who running ATL. They've been trying to fuck with me for the longest now. I just got to stop feel like, bullshit uh, and take my ass up there. But I feel like you free, you you giving enough free promotion to the people that you got a personal enough relationship with. Right. So right. now I think you should be at a cutoff point. Right And just start Now when niggas start I'm not finna use me To right. start charging that Right Definitely you know Oh I, I definitely always had that cut off point In mind you know Oh yeah I mean? It's definitely a cut off point And I'm, I'm I'm right at that point Right now So Yeah, yeah. Trust me I'm a, like But Other people outside of Those who I got that relationship with Even if they in the city Yeah it's gonna, yeah. It's gonna cost Yeah Yeah It's gonna cost you bro now That's how you rock 
You know, don't just say like, yeah, I do but now if you bear wood or front street and that, yeah. that, that's your automatic. Yeah. But y'all everybody else, father then because when I call. started this, y'all was just promoting y'all. So why right. would I start charging y'all now? Right. Everybody else is gonna cost you. Right. Right. See how that shit just? Hey, what you trying to say is gonna cost me? <laughs> nah, it ain't gonna make the cutout point, my nigga. <laughs> oh yeah, man, I'm nominated, man, for the Tri City Awards. Yeah, yeah. right. I, I saw that. You know, I voted for you too, dog. Best club DJ of the year. Best club DJ of the year. Yeah, and biggest supporter. And biggest supporter. DJ Dollar, man. Yeah. She yeah. shoulda with a man. You definitely shoulda though, man. Bro, do a lot of shit for like you know a lot of community shit though. And, and I don't mean to sound thing. disrespectful to the awards, but I don't. I ain't Sign never gave special. a shit. I ain't never gave a shit about being acknowledged for shit that I do. Right. Like I do what I do because I want to do what I do. So I don't, I don't care about being acknowledged about it. But at the same time, I ain't gonna see and cap like it ain't a good feeling to be acknowledged. So right. shout out to them. I appreciate y'all for that. If it's nothing an else, honor. you know. It is. Yeah. Definitely. Like we talk, we talk I, I appreciate it. Yeah, we talk our shit, but we, it feel good. Been nominated last three years. You know what I'm saying? That's the podcast. Yeah. Never mind. Let me not even. <laughs> yeah. We've been nominated three year rolling. I ain't want to get too into Three year rolling, man. You know what I'm saying? But just like I say, man, they just need a committee or a goddamn some type of uh, just a collect- collection of people to just go in and start picking certain shit because I don't think that their insight is very knowledgeable. You know what I'm saying? So, or do what Dollar doing right now with the talent show. If you don't like the way yeah. it's going, do, do your it. own thing. Somebody, oh, else wait, 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 Dollar, you, the talent show. Speaking of that, um, Dollar, you should do an award show. Well, speaking of the talent show, um, the King. You know what? Talent show. I perform for free. King <laughs> R&B. So you ain't got to worry about booking like a good singer. Yeah. You got me already. Z- bro. Z- don't put you on the oh, already, man. man. It's little man. You know what I'm saying? For but free. would you? Would you? Would you consider doing an award show? Would I consider? I would. Um, it just, I, I want to find a way to make it fair, you know, because I don't want to do one side of war show when, yeah, and everybody the same people can keep getting nominated. I want to put everybody in the category. I want to have a real poll. It's people really coming to vote, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And um, not not just drawing a name out of hat, man. And boom, well, you get an award. You yeah, get an award, you get an award. Now yeah. I want I want to record out people that's really working. And uh, but I would do one. What y'all think I should call it, man? I mean, well, whatever it is, you better have Matt one though. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, y'all can definitely. broadcast live at the, at the war show. Yeah, we definitely will. Yeah. That is weird. We set it up, man. You know, we, we but set it up. shit, call that shit the goddamn the war show. <laughs> straight, straight like that. He said the award show. The yeah, award like show. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to recognize them. Not just musical talent, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a way to do that shit and yeah. make it fair, though, man. Yeah, it is. You know? It's a way to do it and make it fair. Yeah, that's my first time even thinking about the award show when you mentioned that right there, so. Yeah, that's something that'll yeah. be big, though, you know? Oh, yeah. I feel like you'll be a little more knowledgeable of what's going on around these motherfuckers. You want to be biased. Yeah, just yeah, be, and be, less be, by be, yeah. Just because you know you yeah. could, he said that in the beginning when he was talking about how he worked with artists, he's not gonna be right biased right, about it. Right. So right. I think that that makes a big difference. And see, I don't need too much, really. Just you know, I ain't never took no sides with no artists, man. You know, I really ain't no need. Ain't no need to take a side with nobody. You know, that's why I ain't never been in no game. Never joined it. Never joined that. You know, I said, man, making money easy, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't let the money make you. You know what I'm saying? Can't go out here chasing these women. Some of the artists don't understand. They be trying to live in any means. Making money easy. It's just making money at what you want to make yeah. it at is what's hard. Yeah, and then you got your artists. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then what pissed me off with, with the artists of Columbus, man, they budget, man. They budget. Don't nobody want to spend no money. Nope. But they all want some shit for free. Don't nobody got a budget. You know what I'm saying? They don't even know what a budget is. Nigga don't have no budget, man, but... Yeah, they ain't heard no. They ain't you don't need a budget money. if you run your shit the right way. Yeah. Social media. Get sure. your presence. Get That's your page. The number one way. Yeah. Instagram, Twitter, all that. that social media free, man. They, they need that. Instead of going on there posting your dope and your, and your gun, man, get your page just strictly for music, man. Right. You, you can add 5,000 friends. They going to see it. Network with motherfuckers. They going to see it, man. You got to go out there and meet people. You can't be scared to go up and talk to a motherfucker. 
You know what I'm saying? That one thing I know about this nigga right here. Yeah. He gonna go talk to a motherfucker. Oh, then who you at? Or where we he at? He gonna go talk to your I ain't gonna lie. We, we was at a Kill em Key uh, event for the, the kickball tournament. And he was trying to coach me on how to get on the mic. And, man, talk to these people like, bro, matter of fact, come here. They go to DJ <laughs> real quick. He grabbed the mic. He started saying what he was saying. Then he gonna hand it to me. I'm, I'm looking like, shit. Yo, that nigga got down. Go and talk, man. We was in New Orleans. We in the club in the goddamn casino in New Orleans, bro. We posted. Looking up, like, what the fuck that nigga there? Where the fuck that nigga at? Look up, he got them in the corner. It like a whole, like like some sorority girls or something. You remember that shit? Yeah, <laughs> it like 15 be- on, you know what I'm saying? He and that bitch taking pictures with him. He holding bitches and shit. Like, what the fuck is nigga doing? He over there with a whole group of motherfuckers. He ain't scared to talk, dog. Yeah, he was- he gonna talk. Yeah, he- I don't know where he was at, but he was at something. <laughs> Yeah, I, I still stay. I, I talk to them to the day, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, like build a relationship, yeah. man. And you know, I just built a relationship with Losa, man. You know, up in A. Mm. You know, I'm bringing bro down, man, and, and just let him spit some of the some of the artists, man. You know, he don't been he don't been on QC, he don't been on these different labels and stuff, man. So, wait, say the name again. Say the name, Losa. You know, okay, you know, okay. When she on the Molly, she get freaky. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Old track. Yeah. You know, he got some new music out there that I'm pushing for him. You know what I'm saying? When you bring him down here, make sure you hit. The, the, that what he said. He said he ain't on the booty shit. He said he want to come to the hood shit. You know what I'm saying? Was swine he through. want to come to the hood, man. man. So shit, that's what I'm gonna do for him. But you know, we gonna bring the front street. Shit, oh. yeah, he will love that shit. You know, what I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know they booty like motherfucker. Yeah, so <laughs> he likes some shit like that. So man, but. Man, we just gotta get these. Man, we just gotta get down, get this shit on out here, man. Like these folks don't be want to work, man. They ethics are as fuck. We want to get on there, man, and make these fucking video. Now we'll tell a nigga, I'm DJing, bro. I don't mind playing. I don't charge to play your shit. I don't charge at all. When you bring some shit, sound like you put that shit in your closet. Yeah. Oh, then we got a problem. Yeah. yeah. Then yeah. I'm like, I'm cutting that shit off, man. That shit right. horrible, man. Right. Take care of the underground sound, man. Get your oh, sign. Come to the studio somewhere, shit. Get somebody that can turn it up. Turn it, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Man, I can't be hearing that bullshit. But, man. That's true, though. Yeah. That nigga really been goddamn for all the artists, because we know a lot of artists going to listen to the episode. The whole episode, y'all niggas really been goddamn dropping some real fucking knowledge and giving them some good-ass insight. Y'all should ask the nigga, here, DJ. What's some shit? As a DJ, do you feel like the radio still play a part in making... Anybody success in the game? Yeah, I, I really understand that. I I can't say that because I'm on the radio, and it's all about your budget. Really, you got you got to for the radio gonna broadcast everywhere. Once you register your song, that's what folks don't understand. Once you register your song on the radio, if I, if a radio station here playing, keep playing your song over and over, the other radio stations can see what other radio stations are playing, and they're gonna be like, why they playing this? Why they playing that? Then they gonna catch on. They gonna play that. They gonna start playing your song everywhere. But once you register your song, man, you 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 out of here with it, man. As far as radio spin, radio spin gonna get you somewhere too. You know, so you just can't forget about radio. The streets will do it for you. Can be an underground street yeah, king. Just, you know what I'm saying? It just the radio just don't play as much of a part now yeah. as it used to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The radio used to be going viral. Yeah. Getting getting radio play was was going viral. Yeah, your song on the radio. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. That was a viral going viral, getting a million views and shit like that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Right now, that was radio at a yeah, point in time. Listen to radio now no more. Right, like, right. But that's what I say. Helps, though, you know, for those that ain't on social media, but, but shoot, you know how that go, man. Radio, you get what it is. You link in with the radio station, get what they have. They have big shows, big concerts. But I do feel like radio stations is, is declining. Radio stations is on a on a on a on a decline. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it's finna it, it, it's gonna end up a time in the near future where it's just obsolete. Like there's no need for the radio. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. But the internet just taking over so strong. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yo. RB King over there. You need to come stop by one Sunday, man. What's that? What now? I see, I'm talking about, I'm talking about like for like getting artists out of shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. What, what, what he was talking about now? I, <laughs> I hear you. What you say? What hey, was 
Yeah, come through one Sunday, man, and draw some of that. <laughs> man, you don't want me to got that. Why? You ain't saying nothing but a thing to me, because I'm the king. You know, I'm the reason Bobby can't come back to the city. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you know that or not. Bobby can't come back. You seen the last show they tried to have, right? <laughs> yeah. Bobby, Canceled. Bobby can't come. <laughs> he can't come back to the city long as on here, man. Yeah. But nah. But you got a restraining order on that nigga, sir? Nah, he's scared. King oh, R&B. Okay. okay. Come on, bro. You know, okay. Bobby's scared. But nah. For real, for real, uh, DJ Dollar, you the first real radio DJ that didn't had to like the balls to come to match one podcast. Cause most of them was all each other, you know, they gonna come through or whatever. But yeah. she, you pull straight up. So yeah. that's why we had some of that. Why I asked that DJ question? Cause we ain't had no radio DJ. We ain't had no radio DJ here. I ain't huh. skipping on nobody. Make sure well, I ain't yeah, disrespecting no nobody. Yeah. But, but you know, but you know, uh, with radio man, it, it's all good and damn with radio, but it's so much they can't do. You know right. what I'm saying? They got so many limitations that they can't do, you know. Man, niggas don't but, understand that for Yeah, they don't too. understand that, but you know, um, some music ain't fit for the radio. True. You know, um, it's going to have to be pushed in the streets, through the club, through the DJs in the club, through the street DJ, man, because you can't get on the radio and every word in your song is fuck you, fuck that. Man. You know what I'm saying? Suck this dick, but then... You try to clean it up, you still know what the word is saying, you know? So every song... You got too many goddamn edits in the shit. Yeah, too many edits on By the time you hit a song, song for me long, you ain't heard 10 words. Right, true. But everything don't got cleaned up. Because it's probably too much of you Yeah, man. but if you, you can make radio music, you can make club music. I'm down for a little healthy cussing in my music. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> put, a, put, put some heavy cussing in my shit, you know what I'm saying? But... But when you try to get on the radio, that ain't the song that you need to go with. Yeah, yeah. Wait. I don't, you, I don't you do, you do clubs too, right? Yeah, I be at eight. Right. Look, now we had, cause we had, y'all was talking about this earlier. See, we got a DJ here. Do you still feel like the DJs in the club can make hits still? Or uh, push it? Do you feel like a DJ has the power to drop a song now? Like how, what's a breaking artist? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like if they, they can break an artist together, well, people listen to DJ. You, Dropping this song in the club every week, folk gonna catch on. Like, I like that song. They gonna go find that song. But you gotta also just not play the song. And be like this, you gotta let them know who it is. You know what I'm saying? How to find this artist? You know what I'm saying? Okay. But the the biggest way I seen the artists make up and making and blow it, man. I know the little young, what them young boys, F and G, them little YSN motherfuckers. Oh, YSN. Man, them yeah. little niggas is hot, man. They yeah. the yeah. hottest shit in the street right they now. They don't yeah. have a showcase in Atlanta, in the showcase around here. They going to go, they going to pay That's their little money to get on. Right. And let folks hit them, man. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. You got the network, right. man. You right. got the DJ. Right. If DJ ain't got your music. And you think you supposed to be art and, and no DJ got your music, you ain't trying to work. You ain't trying yeah. to get out there. We just was talking about them boy earlier too. That nigga Trout, why is he in Trout? That nigga, yeah. that little nigga hot. Them boy hot man. That little nigga hot. I rock with them. They hot now, you know. But the hottest in the streets that I can say right now, the underestimated act, like, like Root is the hottest thing out right now, bro. I'm not even yeah. gonna lie. He in, yeah. the in, the in the city, in the city, yeah. In the city, Root is the hottest shit in yeah. the city right now. Right. I dropped that Root last night in Atlanta, man. I ain't know who the fuck it was, but the whole club, like, what they, what they, man, them folks in the vibing. I yeah. got that chicken dip, Bellwood. Them folks were vibing. They were like, they, they think the nigga from the, nah, nigga, Columbia, Georgia. You didn't get what I'm saying on the mic. Columbia, Georgia, this, that, you know what I'm saying? DJ, get what? DJ can spend shit in the club, drop a video. Artists only do it going down and just, boom, share the video. Yep. Share that shit, you know yep. what I'm saying? That's all you gotta do. Yeah. But folks don't understand it. You got you to gotta be a relationship with DJ. Don't fuck them over now. Right. You fuck a DJ over, shit. And DJ gonna be hard gonna, for you. It going to be hard for you out here. Yeah. Once you fuck them DJs over, don't, don't promise somebody some shit and then back out of the shit and don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey. That's all I see with that shit, man. Like me. But you still got to have your social media intact. Because yeah. when they come inquiring about who the fuck is this nigga that you playing, and they, they got to have somewhere to come yeah. get it at. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Okay, you ain't gonna come to niggas ain't they ain't coming to Facebook. You know what I mean? So shit, I get your shit together. Yeah, they yeah. got now rain trying to come. Hey yeah, yo, we just get good. I don't wanna got down, you already know this shit finna go down. Shit finna get loud in here. Yeah. Well yeah, man. What you wanna do, my brother? Shit, what's up man? We still chatting. Yeah. Fuck the rain for a minute. What's yeah. going on? What's up, nigga? Y'all boy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> 
Yeah, you know, Tim, I've been trying to get Tim to get me on the show for the long. I, every time I see Tim, hey, man, man, you'll never interview me. Man. I used to tell Tim, no, man, you'll never interview me, man. I'm trying to. Oh, man, we you know? just, it's just the right time to leak or just get shit together, bro. This ain't yeah. the last yeah. time. Shit, pull oh, up. Yeah. I mean, we be over here every Saturday. Yeah, yeah. you know, I'm a uh, Sunday. I'm a full time, man. I'm a brain. <laughs> we brain. <right here. laughs> I'm a brain from all three of them, man. We don't got nothing to say. Yeah. In the event, I got. And y'all can broadcast live, bro. Come broadcast live. We there. We there. Like, we there. Screen in, Tim, put you out there. Goddamn, let's talk. We there. You know yeah, we I'm there. Saying? You see, you ain't saying nothing else. Yeah. And if when you need me to sing, uh, yeah. don't hit, don't hit one of them. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna give you right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, that's all I'm gonna give you. Uh, if, if you need any more of my credentials, I was in the movie with Beyonce. That's it. That's it. That's, it. that's all I'm giving you. Yeah. Come on, man. Crazy dog, cut it out right now. I was, in the, I was in the movie with that's Beyonce. That's what I said. See, he must have followed my work. Come yeah, on, nigga. Come on, man. <laughs> he he must be a fan. Come on, man. Extra two, extra one, two o oh, two. That was me, man. That was me. Yo. <laughs> you probably ain't see me that good if you watching the movie. You got to watch the special edition DVD, and then you watch the crowd in the Columbus, bro. You see the deleted scene. Not even the deleted scene. You just got to get the special edition DVD. Uh-huh. They don't even sell the DVD no more because they don't even sell DVDs no more. Right, right. So you know, if you ain't got it. You really ain't got a chance to see. But I was in the movie with Beyonce. Yeah. The whole point of that shit. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you ever need somebody that was in the movie with Beyonce for anything? Yeah, I got That's your gosh. I'm just saying he throwing events and shit. I mean, he might you could put that on the flyer. Nigga in the movie with Beyonce. They be like, oh shit, it was him. <laughs> oh, I'm a Beyonce post star. Oh man. You know what I'm saying? But nah, man. But for real though, in 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 your in your defense. We had just went through this whole thing. We just weren't having a lot of motherfuckers over, for real, for real. Not like purposely, just, we just were recording and we kind of no, just started really telling motherfuckers. You know, we just, just you know, we weren't interviewing enough for a while. Yeah. So that's why, you know, but now we back. Yeah, I mean, I we weren't never been, gone, you know, we just. I've been seeing y'all, man, you know, yeah. I've been seeing y'all, man. Appreciate that, and, uh, appreciate that. I, one thing I got to work on, man, my Instagram, man, I'll be bullish. Yo, <laughs> gotta man. get that shit right. I, I gotta man. get Instagram right. I ain't gonna go buy no damn followers, but, uh, Nah. Nah. Instagram, it's just, it's just what it is. It's killing me with buying followers, man. That shit is noticeable, man. Yeah, it it's is. Noticeable, bro. You's a nigga that don't go nowhere. Just sit in the house all day, but you got <laughs> goddamn 12 million followers. How the fuck you get 12 million followers? <laughs> yeah, right. You're sitting in the house. Nobody yeah. don't know your ass. Nobody know your mother, man. Come on, man. Man, it's a nigga from Atlanta named Big Hobby. This rap from Atlanta named Big Hobby, right? Quinn Mile did the little Thursday review one time, and he was one of the like guest artists or whatever. And his mama was like a guest judge or whatever. So a lot of people was in the club being disrespectful, you know, talking over the judge while they trying to talk and shit like that. So I understand why they were mad. But his mama gonna get on the, on the mic and say some shit like, "Oh, do any one of y'all here in Columbus got a hit record? Do any one of y'all got a major record deal?" And Da, 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 and my son is this and my son is that. So, bitch, I go on your son and Instagram. This nigga got 100,000 followers, but his pictures get an average of 150 likes. Mm. That ain't adding up, sweetheart. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, now, nah. I got a question for you, bitch. Do your son got a hit record? No. Is your son big shit? No. Your son is a nobody ass nigga who was supposed to be that nigga six years ago, and he still ain't popped. And y'all thinking, still trying to live on what he was supposed to be four, five, just six cause you years bring him somewhere like Columbus, yeah, he's exactly. gonna get a little respect. Like, nah, bitch, no, 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 don't come down here. I had to, I had to talk to Quinn about that. Like, I understand people in Columbus sometimes can be disrespectful. I understand it because they were being like the people in the club were being a little disrespectful. What they were doing? It was just like these, like why the artists is performing, everybody in the bank chit chatting loud as hell. That mean they don't like that shit. Yeah, they don't. But you know, <laughs> when these same people, <laughs> but the yeah. thing is, when these same people, if they turn to perform, they expect everybody else to not talk and da 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 da. It ain't gonna work like that, player. Girl, I y'all was back there chit chatting doing y'all thugs when they were that so performing. That's just a way. That's just a way of me showing you. I ain't I really, really like I ain't really like stun you. Yeah, I ain't you know, stun you. I shut the fuck up when I'm DJing. <laughs> but like, when I do the art, I DJ the show basically. Right. right. I right. tell them shut the fuck up. Right. I be telling hey, man, y'all shut the fuck up about that man listening to fuck music. Right. You know and then, like, when the judge is trying to critique them, 
They still loud in here talking to you. Like, we, ain't, we ain't like that shit, DJ. You can't yeah. even hear the judges, you know what I mean? So, I'm gonna fuck your music up. So I understand. <laughs> so I understand why they were mad, but at the same time, I understand we ain't in your city. You and mine. You ain't gonna come down here and disrespect nobody like that. Right. Don't hop on no mic talking about y'all ain't this and y'all ain't that and we doing this and we doing. Y'all ain't shit. I tell you to your face, you ain't shit. And you ain't gonna do shit about it. Well, here we down. What y'all got going on? I come to your city and tell you you ain't shit. And you still yeah. ain't gonna do nothing about it. Some people just don't know how they sit with motherfuckers don't like that shit. They don't. They, they don't. don't. They don't they like don't. your shit. They don't. You ain't gotta get up here and try to prove nothing and try to boast style up. Like, right. We do this. But I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I when do all that. that. They, they, they like might do. Shit. When a uh, fat boy yeah, yeah, was finna perform, they would grab the mic and went off on them niggas. Oh, y'all bitch ass, puss ass nigga. Y'all probably back there broke as fuck. That's why y'all doing all that talking and. Y'all niggas got a problem. Y'all can see me after this shit. Now, now y'all niggas step to him. Like, damn, damn nigga, I be broke. That's because we talking. <laughs> <laughs> damn, niggas say nothing to him. But you know he was. You know he was just popping this shit. Yeah. He was just popping this shit. Cause I, and, I, and I felt him. You know what I'm saying? I understood why he did that. You know, he wasn't stunning. Like, he wasn't really stunning what money them niggas do or don't have. But, you know, like, if this my little brother, he getting ready to perform. Y'all still doing all this talking. Hey, I'm going to shut you up. Shout out to Bill man. Wood Black, man. Yeah, yeah, shout out. That I'm nigga walked like a nine-month-old <laughs> baby. Oh, shit. It's a reason for that. It's a reason for that. But yeah, so man, we, I, I pick with him about it from time to time. Yeah, I, I, know, I know he got a sense of humor. That's why I said it. I know he don't take it wrong. Definitely. Shout out to Bill Wood. Yeah, my nigga. Yo, the rain ain't gonna start look like, hey, huh? Man. Thought it was gonna let up. Oh, goddamn. Fucking up our audio. goddamn thing. Just fucking up our audio. God win the water gun fight this week, bro. Yeah. He been winning goddamn since like, what, Wednesday? Yeah. God say y'all need one to play. Y'all want to throw water? <laughs> y'all want to spray water? <laughs> He the one, nigga. Yeah, we're gonna play y'all over with now. Shit, shit. I'm finna crank it back up on these folks. <laughs> nah, I don't think it's over with, nigga. They don't, they don't crank it back up when the weather get bad, right? Definitely. I, I, I was just sitting there mad, because, you know, I ain't gonna tell them a lot, man. I was talking all this shit on Facebook, you know what I'm saying? I just ain't gonna wet me. Got yeah, down. sound good. Goddamn, DJ Stone went live. Called me out, looked for him to pull up a jaw with the water gun standing outside, waiting for a nigga, but get what hard, nigga, ain't there. Oh, so shit. So, goddamn, shit, like, I'm setting up for a party, so I leave the party while I'm setting up at. I go to Family Dollar, goddamn. I come out Family Dollar. I look around the corner, goddamn. He come a little noop with a fucking water gun. <laughs> like, this nigga got a water gun. Like, yeah, jumped down on your nigga head. jumped out the car, bro. I swear to God, nigga, I had I had on flip flop and some fucking jeans. <laughs> nigga, I ran some motherfucking fast to the car. Like that nigga was from jumping at fast as hell. I said, hell, young nigga, you wet me today. <laughs> Shit. Then they got down, hopped out on me in Venice Road, man, tried to open my car door. I yeah. damn near shot one of them niggas. I ain't never the fuck it was playing. <laughs> you know, but shit, they having fun with that shit, man. That shit ended because somebody just got their head popped the other day. But Yeah, so much for stopping the violence. Yeah, stopping yeah. the violence. He got shot in the foot, though. I think he shot his mother. At least they slowed the violence down. They, yeah, they slowed the violence down. Now, that shit fun. Nah, now. man shot the guy down the club up last night. What, uh, five? Yeah. Them niggas got locked up. Caught them niggas, yeah, they caught them niggas. Stupid ass. Yeah. These niggas were old. Yeah, that was, the, that, was the, that was the niggas that shot the young nigga in the foot. And raw. I think they were trying to rob somebody else. He called himself trying to be the hero and got popped. You know, I don't know how exactly how the story shoes, went. They want to got that pop, nigga. I don't, think, I, don't, I don't know exactly how the story went. How you shoot a nigga in the foot? I'm trying to tell you, was y'all touching for the gun or something? Oh, no. Turn around like, ah! Nigga, what, he tried to kick the bullet? You know what I'm saying? Nigga, trying to kick the bullet? Shit. Way too low. Because I'm aiming for the chest in the face every time. Yeah, shit, I ain't even going to play with him. If I got to pull my gun, I feel like my life is bad. If you ain't my day one partner, and your ass get robbed, I'm going to let your ass get robbed. I'm going to let your ass get robbed. But we ain't together, and you ain't my partner? Shit, nigga, what's the point? I ain't seen Shit. It's already happening to you, brother. You better have knew them folks. I sure can't come help you, though. I hope you, you, I hope you knew them folks. You I took that bullet. Right. Hell, yeah. Then get on Facebook. Damn, man. Shout you, can look, to you can look me dead in my eye. <laughs> Why you shit. get robbed? I'm going to rob. I'm going to just nod my head like, hey, shit. Damn. Fucked up, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Hey, before we get into further, and while it's a little bit calm down, Dollar Trail, make sure you go ahead and get the people y'all social media. Y'all can find me on social media, uh, Dollar Promotions. Dollar without the R Instagram I am DJ Dollar That's on them two Social media sites That I normally be on Trail At NTG Trail Everywhere NTG Trail on Facebook At NTG Trail on uh, IG and Twitter Okay Gotta make sure Y'all get the goddamn Listeners y'all You know oh, Y'all following this shit Man You know yeah. Yeah. Keep that shit yeah. like say, say what now You know what I'm saying I'm gonna bring out some shirts, man. Yeah, I'm, uh, you know, I'm definitely waiting on my. I still ain't got my Matt from wearing the shirt. Bro, you ain't getting one shirt from the King of R&B over here. Wait, hold on, you ain't getting no Matt one shirt nope. for real. God damn. damn. We gotta get some That's older, way right? for Okay, we'll wait for that cane then. Okay, my bad. My bad, Drew. We I'm got you, bro. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We got y'all. We got y'all, man. We got that merch. We got the merch yeah. coming. What we had? What my what y'all? You see, we got the lighters and shit somewhere over this bitch. You know what I'm saying? We got the merch coming on y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Got the match one lighters and shit. You know what I'm saying? But the match one Bible. (laughs) 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 We got it coming. We got we got got the match one skills. We got it. (laughs) The shit coming, man. Oh yeah. Shit, oh, with, with, with that, since we on that subject, I got to shout out Smokey Bell, man. Okay. On the Chris Camp movement. Shout out. Yeah, that shit. When is, I that say that movie, man yeah. turned up with that shit, like, this man got all the different type of jackets, sweatpants, joggers. Yeah. I seen one picture. He had a girl in some lingerie with Kush Camp on it. I'm like, hey, this a... He got the man purses for you niggas who like to wear man purses. He got all that, you know. So if you like to, need to start, he need to start strap a man to get person shit. across your chest. He like, start getting this shit in dispensaries and shit. Dollar, oh, you, yeah, you yeah, an eighty baby or ninety baby? I'm a ninety baby. Yeah. I, I can't even make. I can't even make. You don't mind? Yeah. What year were you born? About ninety three. I'm twenty five. So you born? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Don't try. Ain't nobody gonna be in. You were ninety three. You born about ninety eight, what? Ninety three, man. Uh, Trey, oh, you ain't okay. gonna find nobody to get on his side. Cause Trey, yeah. you, he a '90s baby, but, but he was born in '89. Yeah. So I'm a '90s baby. He trying to claim. I was born in the November. 80, the '90. All right. Two, the, a month and a half don't count for real. You were the '80s baby. I'm a '90s baby. Man. Yeah. yeah. You an 80s baby. <laughs> the 90s babies don't even want to claim you. You're going to make us not claim you in a minute. You're just going to be stuck in the middle Yo, somewhere. We try to force you in, though. Because <laughs> when, when they disband you, don't come back to the 80s babies because we're going to be like, nah. I'm going to post bro. this on Facebook and nah, I'm going to see bro. what the people say. Nah. I'm going to post this on Facebook and I'm going to see what the people say. Oh, you're a 90s baby. I mean, you're an 80s baby. I'm a 90s baby, man. Yeah. I, was made, I, I was made in the oh, 90s. Real quick, any, any, any uh, prediction with the NBA Finals? NBA Finals. I'm yeah, going with Toronto. Just do what I think. Do what I think. If KD, KD need to come back tonight. KD ain't coming back. They say he might come back tomorrow. If KD, KD, KD come, come back tomorrow, they're going to win three straight. Okay. Yeah. If KD come back tomorrow, he trying to be Superman. They're going to win three straight. Okay. He trying to be Man. Superman. He could have been back. Listen to me. I told you my philosophy with this KD shit. KD ain't already. coming back. I don't think KD coming back. And he trying to prove But, it. but... I think if the NBA is rigged, because you said this one time, was that you know that this whole NBA rigged? Like I kind of feel like it. It's three one, right? right the right. last time this lineup was together, they was up three one, and the NBA but, finals happened. But, but they don't they don't ran that script twice already. Not really, not three not three one in the finals, not with this lineup. It's the way to get, I feel like they done ran that script already. It's the way to get KD out of there gracefully. Came back from down three one and beat Golden State. We was in fucking off. Four, four straight. Like, so that was the first time it ever happened. Yeah. That V-Boy do it. It's going to be the second time. You think it's going to be the second time? Yeah. Oh, Ain't no fucking so. way you can let Toronto. But you got to think. That's why they ran, they ran that same script the round before in the Western Conference Finals. When Golden State were down 3-1 to... Um, Houston. Houston. Nah. Nah, nah. That was the OKC. 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 They were down 3 1. And they came back and went to the finals and was up 3 1 and got beat. So, like I say, they done ran that script twice. I don't think they're going to run it again. If they run this script again, it's only to prove that they don't need KD to win. If the anything, KD going to come back in there and it'll go to like game seven or some shit. 
They gonna try to run a new score. I, I just can't see Toronto winning. But guess what though? You I'm sorry. To... I, I, I've seen it. I'm seeing it, but I just I will believe it when it's like the finals come back. Is is over. More, I think Toronto gonna win that game. Four one. If they win it four one, but Kawhi Leonard gonna go down in history. Yeah, he gonna be the stopper of the three piece. Yeah, he gonna be the I man. Think gonna be, I think gonna be four one. But get what? The more games they play, the more money these folks get. They, you know, they gonna sell more. They gonna make more money if they let Golden State come back. Back to make it yeah, though I say back. I can see I can see KD coming in and then pushing to a game seven. And the game seven still in Toronto. Who, I don't know who will win. That. But I will in say Toronto. this: for all the KD naysayers that was out there, that were dogging my boy, out, you know what I'm saying, talking about uh, you know he ain't shit and they can do all this without him and he ain't needed. What y'all got to say now? What's gonna happen? Is, they gonna they gonna still, they, nah, I think they can still do it without him, and it's, it's gonna make the argument even worse. Right. What's, what's right. Like if they come back right. three one without KD, right. then we gonna be like, right. told what's you the niggas never needed. What's gonna true. happen That's is true. KD gonna come back, and they still gonna beat their ass. Definitely KD ain't coming back, man. KD ain't, if coming, he back. He ain't coming back. But I don't think he's going to come back either. I think KD. And I think Toronto going to win 4-1. You trying to remind people who the fuck he is. You saying okay. Toronto 4-1. I think Toronto 4-1. Yeah. If Toronto, Toronto 4-1, bro. I say Toronto 4-2. If Toronto got that win and shit, they don't be going to say twice at home, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. It'll be them at the <laughs> house. Back to back. You know what I'm saying? If Toronto wins... I feel like whether KD come back or not, they're going to beat him. If, if but, Toronto wins, Drake is going to get 4-1 tattooed on him, and we're going to have the next big Drake song is going to have so much to talk about this yeah. Toronto championship. Yeah, yeah. I'm pulling up, man. Am I the only one that noticed the last game, buddy, that got hurt when he was laying down on the ground bleeding? Like, he looked at Jet like that. Yeah, but get what? Don't forget this shit, man. I can see that being in a video. Well, I literally didn't want to play in Toronto. Remember that? Yeah. He ain't want to play in Toronto. Hey, he going to go down a legend in Toronto. He can leave Toronto if he going to win this shit. They ain't going to give a fuck next year. He still year. don't want to be the... I don't know. He win, he might stay. I can see him staying, but I don't see him coming back. Oh, if he come down, if they lose this 3-1 lead, he's leaving. Period. I'm going to pick up my chick, man. All right, bro. Appreciate you coming through, All man. Right, man. Yeah, hey, pull man. up again. There we saw you. I ain't doing that, man. You know, I ain't going to say that. I'm 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 going to say that. All right, my brother. Appreciate you for coming through. Be safe out there, my name. We're going live. I'm going to see you how to fly. Yeah, man. So you got the, you, you hoping it's over with for tomorrow? I feel like it's going to be 4 1, man. I feel like they, they, they too turned up right now just based off momentum. They're going to go down just. Yeah. One more game. I All get 4 2. Right. I can see Kawhi going out for a good 45. If they go 4-1, no, I, I, I would be that, – that'll be the best shit I could have seen because I would not have seen this coming. Again, Golden State knocked off. I would have a lot more respect for Kawhi Leonard because I'd be like, this nigga really just did it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that says a lot. Yeah. They would say a lot about him. Um, I just can't see – Golden State but losing. I feel like, <laughs> like I feel I, like the reason why I feel like they just gonna go on tell my four one is cause it ain't really just Kawhi. The boy it, playing. My boy Siakam yeah, been going on. Especially like, you know what I'm now, now go back to a couple of episodes ago when we was having a conversation about the Raptors and what was I saying? Like they can win. Yeah. If these other motherfuckers yeah. score points, they're playing, they they like, playing good together, bro. So it really ain't nothing. Shout out that boy Siakam because he had like 40 points in one game. Yeah. Nah, he had like 35. Like 30 something, 40. He had about 35. Yeah, he had about 35, you know. So, but you know, you know, the media going to give all the credit to Kawhi. I hate that about yeah, this damn thing, bro. It ain't, it ain't just Kawhi. Yeah, it ain't just Kawhi. It's, you know, so he, had, he, got, he got a nice little team, you know. Yeah. The yeah. boy playing good. Well, he putting up, putting, he putting up point though. He, he putting definitely up, he doing putting, that. He doing what he's supposed to do. He definitely doing that. So yeah, man. I, if I it, know the Rose is feeling sick right now. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, he spent. He got to be, man. He can't be feeling sick. He got to be. The Rose got to be looking like, damn, I ain't as good as I thought I was. See, Kawhi no, Leonard. No, 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 no. It's not that though. But the West is way harder. That's why LeBron didn't go over there and just bully. This the West. The East, East. Now, first man, of all, the East could be ran over. LeBron got hurt. LeBron got hurt. LeBron got hurt. LeBron ain't his first time getting hurt. LeBron missed twenty games. This was his first time in his career missing like twenty games. Come on, Trey. Twenty plus. Come on, man. But before he got injured. They showed the record that they had they was in without fourth. LeBron before the, the season before and with LeBron that same season. They had the same damn record. Cause LeBron ain't played. And they were before he. Game. That no, they were before he got injured. Oh my god! 
Yeah. Not that. Before he they got were, they were fourth in the West before they got before he got injured. You right. do know that, right? They were fourth in the West last year. No. Uh, yeah, they win. Yeah, they, they ain't seen fourth in the West since Kobe four years ago, <laughs> five years four ago. Four years before he retired. The Kobe last championship run. Because yeah. the year after that is when they got put Listen, out. They got swept by the Mavericks. They showed the records. That they had with and without LeBron the season that before. That was their whole season record, though. It was the same. No, yeah. that was halfway. That was not even. Nah, like, it's, the, it's the whole season. No, they record. weren't counting. No, it, I'm, 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 I, can, I was he looking at me. LeBron it was. It was. They had forty some wins. Le- LeBron ain't even light skin. And, 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 and they had like thirty. It was like sure. thirty twenty. This right? season, forty sure. thirty something. Sure. Le- Le- LeBron ain't even light skin. Why you gotta hate on LeBron? So, fuck LeBron. See. Cause he the biggest flopper. He the with biggest crybaby with the Drake and then the Cali. He, he, he the biggest flopper. He the biggest crybaby. Well, Cali just a culture vulture. I don't like. Coach no, no, no. I'm just, I was just saying. I was, you, you know, know, I thought it ain't, it ain't because he light skin. It's just because he a culture vulture. He ain't even from Miami for real. A lot of people don't know that. <laughs> Cali was a DJ in Miami. No, he's not from Miami. Cali is from New Orleans. He moved to Orlando when he was 15. He stayed. He went to high school and all that in Orlando. I've biography. seen his. I've seen his high school yearbook he, he pictures and everything. Khaled. That nigga know the biography. Now he like, gonna be, he I hate DJ Khaled now. No, 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 I, wait, 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 wait. I don't hate him. He wait, just coaches. I wait, do wait, know wait. before he was DJ Khaled. What he is now? He was like a big radio nigga. But he didn't move Miami. to Miami till he was literally 28, 29. And he wasn't even in Miami. He was in Miramar. And that trail. He was in Miramar. That trail. Don't let me. Not Miami. Miramar. That trail. Don't don't let don't let it don't 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 meet DJ Khaled one day and then come back to be talking about some oh. We the best. We the best. No. We the best trail. <laughs> that ain't going to happen. <laughs> that ain't going to happen. He going to put you on the team, bro. I don't want to be on his team. Oh, man. Nah, no, man. I'm full with Khaled, man. We can do business, but we ain't got to be cool. See, you, gonna, you still you going to do business. You going to be we the we, best. We can do business if it's good business, but we ain't got to be cool. <laughs> we ain't got to be friends. No, nah, I'm just that, talking that know? shit. I'm just talking that shit, man. Yeah, get our chicks and get out of each other's face once it's <laughs> over with. Don't do Khaled like that, man. But, yeah, he ain't even from Miami, for real. Khaled a good nigga, man. He ain't from Dade County. He's an Orlando, New Orleans nigga, man. He, just, he don't like Cali, bro. Man, Miami, bro. He made uh, a whole career out being from the hood, the hood, the hood, and they never lived in the hood a day in the damn life. This man, mama had clothing <laughs> stores and <laughs> was a real <laughs> entrepreneur. Like, nigga, you grew up straight. Nigga don't like he him, don't man. like Cali, like, bro. Like, you grew up straight as hell. God. Damn, he don't like that. DJ Khaled, whatever hood? the fuck you did to trail, yeah. bro, I don't it's, even know. Culture I'm going to have to call. Can, you, know? you want me to call him, bro? You know I know Khaled. Yeah, Ross grew up straight. For real, for real. Ross from Coahoma County, Mississippi. For real. I, I believe that. He, he moved to Dade County when he was in high school. So he, he was there long enough to, you know, rep it. You know what I mean? But but you don't think Khaled should rep it at nah. all. But that's what Nigga, he got you was down there 30 years old when you moved to Miramar, Florida. <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck is you from Miami? <laughs> You done been it's grown still, already. Still you an old thirty year old man. You ain't from here, my dog. It probably still Dade County. That's where he made no, his name. No, no, Miramar is not Dade County. Miramar is outside of Miami. Miramar yeah. is outside Dade of Carroll County, City. More than just Miami. Yeah, Dade Dade no, 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 like no, no. No, listen, 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 listen. Dade County is Dade County a bunch of small Jackson cities here. that come together to make Miami. Liberty City, Opelika, Winwood, High Lea. That Miami. You know, that's Miami. You know, uh Carroll City. South Miami Heights, Richmond Heights, you know, ghouls, all that type shit. Like, he, he just Miramar like is not Miami. He don't like Cali. He don't like Cali. Miramar is not Dade County. It's not Miami. So you moved there stayed, when you was 30, nigga. You're not from Dade County. What if he stayed at nine? He, he probably he do stay pretty, there. I'm pretty he, sure he, 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 he got a high, I'm pretty sure he do. But that's where he got his, like, name at, man. Yeah, he, you know, true. He got his you know. name there. He got a but he really got in Orlando, though. That's, and, why, and then, that's why he was rocking with the niggas he was rocking with. Like, if you looked at all the producers that he had signed to him, like, the run that, that he was signed, had signed to him or was fucking with at the time, the runners... Uh, DJ, uh, what's his name? Uh, DJ Nasty, LVM, all the producers, all them cats, all them cats is from Orlando. Now everybody from your production team is from Orlando, ironically, <laughs> but you so from love. Miami. <laughs> Damn, but you from Miami? You, so you, 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 Orla- you claim Orlando, Orlando you man. That's where you from, my dog. Claim He's Orlando. Showing love to the niggas he knew from Orlando. Show, show love to the city down. that made you for real, Nick Orlando. We ain't with you, Trey. Orlando, that's fucked up. Orlando can't, can't get no love around this motherfucker. Nick the Magic can't, can't win no championship, man. He giving them love. He, he giving them niggas from Orlando money, like you said. Oh, that's real, though. That I, I respect him for that, now. Like I give him props for that, now. Don't Orlando, don't get me wrong. So I give him his props for that. I came up in Miami. I'm finna put y'all But you from Orlando, though, my dog. Or New Orleans. Whatever you did to him, Kelly, hey, just, just fix it, bro. Ain't no way. Fix it. 
Yeah, I got with that nigga. <laughs> I'm an asshole. I'm naturally an asshole, right? I can't help it sometimes. Hey, next time, next time we have your trail, I'm gonna go through some of your Facebook posts because oh, I always oh, said definitely. I want to go through that live hey, one day oh, while you was here, hell on Facebook. and I'm start saving them so I can repeat them back to you. So I'm I'm like, what the fuck was you Facebook. thinking about? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all just like, I ain't gonna lie, it's a, it's a, it's a madness behind everything I do. It's a, it's a, it's a reason behind the shit that I do. I do it for a, speci- a very specific reason, and a lot of people wouldn't even think about that, but. The reason why I act as on Facebook like that is I use social media as a way of sometimes getting a feel of certain people mm, Okay. before I get in too deep with them. And it and it's worked a lot. It don't always help, but a lot of times it works. Because, like, I get people that want to do business with me all the time, people that want me to come kick it with them, fuck with them, this, that. But I don't really know you, though. We're just Facebook friends. Okay. Now, sometimes I will say shit with the intentions of getting a certain reaction out of you just to see how you're going to play the situation. And sometimes that can tell me whether I need to even deal with you or not. Because, see, the thing is, a lot of people be so opinionated and so emotional about certain shit that, let's say, for instance, we doing some business, right? And you feel so opinionated. Let's say, for instance, we promoters or we whatever, and we get approached by a label who got an artist that they want us to work with and do this and that and third with. But you so opinionated about the fact that you don't like this music that you will get around somebody that's important, not knowing that this is somebody important that's about to cut us a check. And you say the wrong shit out your mouth. Now you done just fucked up a check. And I've had that happen in real life before, by the way. I've had a nigga sit here and t- talking to the people that was the money behind a certain artist, but... Neither one of us knew that these people were the money behind this artist. And he sat right in front of them and said, that nigga whack. He ain't shit. He ain't doing nothing. And, that, and I'm just sitting there looking at him like, nigga. Like, bro, even if you feel that way, this ain't a necessary situation for you to say that. All right. Like, that was unnecessary. You let your mouth run a check away. Now, if I had to peep that about you before we got... As far as we are now, I could have just avoided that in the first place. You're not going to avoid all problems. You're going to deal with shit, but I try to keep it to a minimum. And I use social media as a way of, you know, engaging shit. Peep it, yeah, peeping certain people and how they vibe on certain shit. So okay. it works. It works a lot. Not and, all the time, and, and, but and what's it your, works. And what's your hashtag scum life or some shit like that? Oh, no, nah, nah, not the scum life shit. Okay. Not the scum life shit, but just oh, other, other random shit. shit. Oh, no, nah, I was talking about that shit. Oh, I was the, start. okay, all right, all right, listen. Next time, next time I get some goddamn. Concern, man, listen, I've gotten women because of the scum life. <laughs> I've lost women because of the scum life. So it's a it's a, it's a, a seesaw. You know, it just keeps going up and down, up and down. You know, so okay. I got a lot of female mad at me because of the scum life and a lot of female inquire about me because of the scum life. Okay. You Next know? time I'm going to have them bitches on dick so we can goddamn go but over some of his scum life shit. I will say this, though, and I, and I ain't oh, too oh. much of a man to admit it. It's one woman that I actually want. Is one woman I give up the scum life all that shit for. Hey, this nigga, this nigga. But the scum life is the reason why she ain't giving me much play right now. So <laughs> it's a tough situation to be in. Like, but I like it. it one chick. This nigga's finna open up his heart on the show just now, bro. You finna get he finna pull it out. Uh, yeah, I, 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 it, it's all. a it's certain I'm female it all, that look. don't fuck with me like that. Like we cool, but she hesitant with me because of the scum life. And if you really you want to, man, you get to come to Scum Life. And the Scum Life was more entertainment than anything. Like, But a lot of people don't take it that way. A lot of people take it as, oh, he really out here just thotting like that. Nah, I ain't thotting. I ain't no thot, man. I'm very picky with women. I'm extremely picky with women, actually. Listen to this 89 and a half. Believe it or not, I'm, I'm picky. I'm picky with women. Like 89.5, baby. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a 90s baby, man. I'm a 90s baby. I'm going to stretch that forever. Even though I was born in 89, you know, I'm not a baby. Man, just go on to get your birthday changed to the 90s. Yeah, birthday. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and have it legally changed to November the 5th, 1990. Mm. And I'm going to just run with that life for the rest of my life. <laughs> Might as well, man. Because we went to kick you out of the club, so. <laughs> we finna close all doors. All doors to the church of uh, the 80s babies is finna close for you no, soon. Hey, so. I didn't experience none of the 80s, though, man. I was born in 89. Don't matter. November. What it's, did it's I about experience a legacy. about the 80s? It's about a legacy of carrying the 80s baby's name. Just man, saying I'm an way, 80s baby is like. I ain't turned one year old until the 90s. <laughs> I ain't turned one year old until the 90s. 
I literally experienced two months of the eighties. What the hell did I do in two months of being born in the eighties to say I'm an eighties baby? You learn how to eat. <laughs> you learn how to breathe. You got life. <laughs> you learn how to see. I ain't moving no yeah yo in the eighties. Ain't ain't nobody, you know, I didn't ain't either. No, ain't, ain't nobody in the 80s, born in the 80s but move you know, no yayo in the 80s. But you know, I ain't, I ain't do none of that in, in the 80s. Nah. I jumped off the porch and everything like in the late 90s and early 2000s. Right? You know, so All most 80 baby babies, babies did. did. We weren't eighties kids. I, I, I kind of I kind of see your point though. You know? Yeah, exactly. How, I, I if if you were born point, after though, 85, I, I see your point though. I was going after. You, you I was definitely have a so. point, you know. But yeah, it's somewhere around enough. Uh, I'd been six no. throughout the whole. Now that I think about it, it was actually seven, seven ba- seventies babies who. who yeah, there was the eighties shit that you right. talking about. Right. Yeah. yeah, you know. But I'm a nineties baby though, you know. Okay. I'm a nineties baby you know representative. What? You stay your rug right ass in the goddamn nineties. <laughs> The nineties babies. Hey, all nineties babies ain't bad. It's the, really the late nineties babies. The eighties babies is the niggas who grew up in the nineties. You know, what I'm the nineties babies is the motherfuckers. Why y'all who making grew y'all point like that, man? Let me just be, you know, a, a you know fake nineties baby in peace over here. <laughs> he's, thang, bro. He's, thang, bro. he's a he's a fake nineties baby. Let me do my nineties baby. Let thang. me do my nineties baby. He's a counterfeit nineties baby. Yo, yo. That's <laughs> why I do. Huh? Used to white dub. That was my shit. You were eighty, baby. Ninety, baby, don't know nothing about dub, man. That was my shit, man. Don't know nothing about dub like we know about dub. Oh yeah, big facts, man. Yeah, you can't say big facts, man. Yeah, right. You don't even want to be an eighties baby. But I used to watch the hell out of dub, though. We talking about dub, right? Ah, real monsters. Yeah, that was my shit too. Come on, cuz banana splits, all that, man. I can, oh, I can go back. Foghorn, Leghorn, you know. All about of, yeah, you don't know nothing about fog horn. Baby, you leg horn, leg horn is the goddamn what you call it? The chicken, the chicken, bro. The rooster, the rooster. oh, the big ass rooster. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I say, I say, yeah, yeah. What <laughs> <laughs> about my boy fog horn? Yeah, yeah. you ate a baby, bro. Yeah, okay. ninety baby don't know shit about that. I'm Not an eighty all. baby, and I ain't even know the name. Not at all. You know what I'm saying? That oh, shit really bro. from like the, the, that oh, shit oh, really from like man. the sisters of the seven is for real, for real. Yeah. Falcon, Leghorn, all that bro, shit. We we know about it too though. Yeah, yeah. but like we know about end. Tom and Jerry and all we that other shit. Though, ninety babies yeah. ain't grow Duck up. Duck tales, I used to watch. Oh, that. Ooh, doom, 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 doom. Goof Troop, all that oh, man. man. Goof Troop, yeah, 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 Goof Welcome <laughs> to the eighties, baby. Hey, so we, op- of, we opening man. the doors back up to him now. Back in. So we trying to, we got the doors open for him. All he gotta do is walk in and close them. He the last eighties baby left. And all he gotta do is walk in the door and close them. And we all in here. See, uh, shout out to shout out to Coco, man. Coco say I'm a nineties baby. Hell no, nah. oh, Coco, Coco don't know what the hell she's talking about. Come on, man. Where your Coco was born? 90s. Mm-hmm. Only nah. 90s are accepting him in. No, nah, Coco at 80, baby. Oh, she at 80s, baby? She's 80s, baby. Oh, no. Coco, Coco my age or maybe a year too old. Coco, you, got Coco the- you know about dude, man. <laughs> 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 Damn, you know about dude, bro. Damn, I still watch dude to this day. Come whenever on. they, Whenever it come on TV, I still watch it. Do they? Nine why they? Got, why don't they got like a boomerang for Nickelodeon though? They sleep, do. Not like that though. Not like with like duh, hey on all that shit coming on like like coming. boomerang back in the day. They probably coming. That'd be five for a boomerang for the old Nickelodeon shit. Huh? Oh man, what y'all think? I don't remember yeah. face. Yeah, off yeah. Nickelodeon. Definitely. Man. No, I don't. I do. Face, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on, nope. Man. Yeah. I remember. <laughs> I know you remember. Hated, baby, if you remember face, American I don't Gladiator. remember him. American said, Gladiator. Hi, kids, face here. <laughs> <laughs> me and my wife got an inside joke about this shit. So I don't remember the nigga. All I don't remember him at all. all that, you know what I mean? I was man. on all that, man. If you remember face, bro, you ain't. Ran and Stimpy. <laughs> ain't no nothing. Pinky in the no brain. I was face. on all that. The Animaniacs. My brother and me. What? Fact, cool punch. Come on, man. everybody. Cool punch. Oh, cause because yeah, I remember the, everything, man. Because Skeeter was there. That was signing for that. That was the yeah. nineties, baby. Yeah, 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 but true, we kind of watched true. it still. But if we, you know what my true. brother and me is, though. Oh yeah, I remember that. Baby. I remember yeah. that, Mr. Cooper. You know yeah, definitely. Come on, bro. Definitely. You need to let that nineties shit go, bro. 
man. None of shit. You watch Steve Urkel grow up, man. Facts. You watch Ashley grow up, man. Facts. Come on, man. A nigga that was born in 93, 94, 95. They don't know nothing about this shit. You don't know about Martin? No. Martin with the J's on? By the time they were old enough to know something about that, it was 2000. True. (laughs) It was over with. True. They were catching up. True, (laughs) bro. You an 80 baby, man. You ain't never. When I wake up in the morning and the long get out of one and I don't think I'm gonna make it on. Reading the rainbow. Y'all, y'all used to fuck oh, with that. Reading butterfly rainbow. in yeah, the sky. Rainbow. Definitely. That was my shit. That's how we learn how to read. Facts. Oh, bro. That's how we learn how to Hooked read. Hooked on phonics, all that. Wait, yeah. whoa, yeah. whoa. That's what, that's what we draw the line. Uh, yeah, yeah. So. Hey, I, 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 I was on Hooked on Funny. My oh, that, did it wow. Too. My grandma did it. You too. know that's the way. You hooked on funny, hooked on funny work for me, did bro. It too, man. Hooked on funny, it works for me. Like we. Said. My oh, grandma, it, it, it was her fault. See, I'm blaming her. A ninety her. baby I ain't gonna understand <laughs> that. <laughs> they not gonna know shit about hooked on funny, man. Come on, like, she used man. Like you see us in the living room. And I done roasted shit, shit out of your head, man. <laughs> Hell yeah, hooked, hooked on funny. funny. <laughs> he was on that shit, up. <laughs> you the first person, Trey. You are the first person in my life that that's ever said that Come on, publicly. He's so eighty. That's way eighty, baby. Come on. Hooked on funny, cuz. He took it to the extreme. You know the last time I thought of that shit? Oh, man. That nigga's a real 80, baby, man. Yeah, man. Grandma put it on me, that man. That shit had a tape with it. I can understand, right, though. Man. I can understand you said your grandma put you on because right. it, it could sell to a grandmother right, to, right. to a that child. That shit had I a cassette. Because I, I didn't need, hold on, hold I didn't need hooked on funny. how you an 80, baby, right here. Right. That shit had a cassette tape. Yeah. That came with Big facts. Nine and baby don't know shit about no cassette tape. You used to have a Walkman and used to put the Walkman in there. No, right. no Record, the recording the radio on, on the cassette tape. Come on, bro. Oh, yeah. I remember doing that. Recording the tape from a tape. With a I remember tape, doing with a, that. With a cassette tape. I remember doing that. A white one. I had all my, my favorite radio songs on the tape. Oh, I say you, you was kind of sounding like you. My cousin was hooked on fun. It had a white tape. It's yeah, a yellow box. Your cousin, I don't know all that shit. Yeah. Your cousin, huh? I listened to the tape before. Mighty Mouse, I got all the old VHS. You, like the, you, you don't really like to read, you like to. Homeward Bound, y'all remember that? Listen. Y'all don't remember that? The True. dogs. True. Your cousin, huh? True. Yeah. I wasn't hooked yeah. on fire. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I can read. <laughs> I, I was wasn't even gonna say I was on hooked on <laughs> funny. Said, I know I fuck with y'all, so I'm I was throwing out. In kindergarten. I didn't need hooked on funny. So I didn't need it. <laughs> it just helped with your it, vocabulary. It, 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 just, just, Wait, what the fuck really. was it for? Learning how to read. Yeah. Learning, okay. Pretty much. Well, I'm gonna say, what the fuck is a phonics? Because I, I have no idea. Mind. Still to this day, I don't know the answer to that. I don't question. think I knew it's like you said though. We knew you was on that shit. You finna goddamn. Hey, that nigga on that shit. They used to have hooked on funnies at school then. For like the folk that had to go to the, the, slow the classes you know, and shit to learn uh, how to read. The slow, guess, the slow classes, yeah. yeah they, they had it at elementary school. Listen, yeah. the slow classes Probably had so. it. He's, he's saying that's the, the slow classes. The special classes had it. I know it was cooked on fun. The regular I, classes I believe, did not have it. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker leave the class early to go learn how to read. I was in regular classes, okay? Oh, okay. I, I didn't want that to be known. I was going to say, please. I did not ride the short bus ever. I don't know. I was going to say, Trey, you was going to give out some more shit just did by accident. You was going to fuck around and say, nigga. I'm telling you, we was in the slow class. I had it there too. I know. I had it the there too. Class. Shit, I'm telling you. That's where my, my grandma, grandma made got me do it. <laughs> the teacher told my grandma about Just it. Get this shit from class. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I was definitely in regular classes, man. I was definitely uh, in regular classes. Bro, you the first motherfucker in my life that ever said that, though, bro. Who's I didn't know that. Friend, I ain't never even realized that shit. That shit crazy. Yeah. And you trying to say you're a '90s baby? That nigga just took it way back, man. <laughs> Come on, man. He want to claim the 90s. 90, baby, don't know nobody hooked on funny. You went, they had the square pizza when you went to school? Definitely. Used to bust it up every Friday. Oh, man. Friday was chicken and pizza day. Okay. Welcome back to the Match One Podcast. We have a whole 80s baby panel here. Um, and one really? 90s, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and one 90s, baby. We kind of started man. convincing him he was the 80s, baby. <laughs> yeah, we almost got him. We 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 don't catch him slipping. Cause he grew up with the same shit, bro. That nigga no face, man. There you go with Ask that. Ask anybody on there if they're not the baby, and then add them. Uh, do they remember face off Nickelodeon? Bro. <laughs> Come they on, gonna say man. hell no. Exactly. I know they ain't. I sure remember it though. Come on, bro. I know you do, bro. You ate it, baby. It's a boomer food, a little monkey that used to jump around and all that. I, yeah, that was oh, my yeah. partner right there. You remember, C- you remember Cedar on yeah. BET? Facts. Come on, bro. from the streets, man. Hey, man. The little cartoon animated lady. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Hey, Only cartoon I would have fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Ask the 90 baby. 
Oh wait, no. Uh, Roger Rabbit. Roger wife? Rabbit wife. I was just gonna say us. Jessica Rabbit could have got it as a uh, cartoon. Uh, <laughs> Oh, talking about who would have got it as a cartoon? <laughs> Cedar was really ugly as fuck. I can't remember what Cedar looked like. She wasn't the best looking black cartoon. I can't remember what Cedar looked like. But if you remember Cedar, my nigga, you ate it, baby. Here we go. You know? Here we go, man. He is from the street. Lamb like chops. Come on, bro. Lamb chop play along, bro. Get Huh? Lamb chop play along. Oh yeah, I remember. I remember with, lay on top. With the girl I remember when she used to lay on the little clock mat. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know exactly what you're talking what about. Where that is, man? Yeah, 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 yeah I remember that. Cop, <laughs> I remember that. I remember that. I remember that. I remember all of that. Caillou bald headed ass. I don't know how I remember him, but I do. I don't know. My little girl. Clifford. Like, Caillou. Yeah, yeah, Clifford was out. But see, like, I had. Curious I had, George. You know, little the curious that little monkey. That, 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 that shit like that, that though. Them. Shit like that went on, though. Yeah. What? Shit like uh, Caillou and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, saying? I had little cousins. That, that like Tom and Jerry. That shit all the way from the 60s right. and shit. But it came right. on up to the 80s. Bugs right. Bunny. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Fact. Mickey Mouse. That how shit like, that <laughs> shit like Caillou is. Nah. Yeah, Cause my little girl used to watch that shit. You I used to watch that. Mighty but Mouse you know too. What, I got the Mighty Mouse tapes at the crib. You know what? That was crazy as fuck is shit. Like, think about Disney movies, right? Cinderella, Jungle Book. Yeah. Beside, before we get to the shit that was our era, all that shit was like the sixties. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. but all that shit old. You didn't be old as hell. Yeah, but they remade it in the nineties. Like, that's not. That's not. That's, that's why don't push it. Everything old. The Disney movies in the nineties was the best shits, right? Like, come on, Aladdin, no, yeah. Lion King, yeah. Pocahontas. Okay, if you watched Lion King like when it came out, you were hated baby. Did you play a Sega Genesis? Definitely, hated baby. Definitely, I had the original Nintendo. Hated baby. Definitely hated baby. You go back. To I Nintendo. had the Atari, the Nintendo sixty four. Hated baby. You know. Atari. I had the Sega shit. and the Sega Genesis. Nine I had the, baby the Dreamcast. Shit, man. I had all that, man. You had a GameCube. I, yeah, definitely. Nine baby probably ain't know what a GameCube is, man. Definitely had that GameCube. I don't even know what a Sega. A is. Game Boy. Facts. Had it. Come Game on, Gear, bro. nigga. Come on, I had bro. it. Nine baby don't know nothing about Game Boy, man. I had it. They start, the one without the cover. They start that. You talking about the one they without the cover? That PlayStation Two. True. Hey, you talking about the one without? <laughs> you talking about the one without the color, right? The black yeah, and white, the, the, the clear, the ugly ass screen. Two red buttons. Right. The two red with buttons. The, the black, black shit and the two red buttons. Star yeah. button, Big game, yeah. Definitely. We can play shit with Zelda uh, on that bitch. Definitely. Mario had it. Some shit. That's on the shit. Tetris. Oh, definitely had it. Game Boy, man. You an eighty yeah. baby, bro? <laughs> Ain't no ninety baby had no Game Boy. I still got my original t- Nintendo 64 in the attic. I still got my original. All I got that all shit, that. Man. I got the. I got Sega Genesis. All that still in the attic. Shout out to my mama for keeping my shit. Thanks. Right, man, I got bro. old VH, VHS, t- VHS tapes from. Life so, so are, are you convincing yourself? I got the old Superman shit. I got. Are you Mighty Mouse. Let me ask you a question. Homeward Bound, all that. Internet oh, back in the day. Homeward Bound. If somebody got on the phone, it'll fuck your shit up. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> What are you talking about, man? Oh, once I'm about to take When you go on the website and it take this long to load up, it be like this. Yeah. Start up internet. Yeah. Oh, man. AOL. Wait for the AOL you got logo mail. to load up. This yeah. nigga said the AOL logo. <laughs> oh, man. You went to school, they had Netscape as y'all internet. You'll be on the internet yeah. and all yeah. of a sudden, you got mail. Yeah, yeah I remember yeah. Netscape for the internet it. in school. Computer with the green screen. Facts. Come on, my nigga. Facts. All of that. Cell phones with the blue screen. You ever had a beeper? Definitely. This nigga talking about here. No I had a Nokia. Baby. I had a, the original Nokia phones and all that. With snake on it. Yeah. I bet you ended up changing your antenna out on the phone. A with few the, times. The the, the, uh, the light and back the back the back with the uh, color on that bitch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Light back. Yeah, that was your shit. Oh man. Yeah. The antenna yeah. and shit. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. That shit with the shit though. Had all that. Oh, that shit one five though. My shit one five. Yeah, yeah. The bell switch yeah. names on it. The one with the little. The little shit that come across like a little billboard, you know. He said he was a 90s baby. Had all baby. that, man. A 90s baby is what he said. Had all that. Jabot jeans, man. Reeboks. He said Jabot's. Reeves and Jabot's, you know. How you many know? tall tees you had? Whoo, too many. For, five for 20? Facts. Foot lock. I just signed it. I didn't even have to say the name. I just said five for 20. Two Niggas, I knew that was talking about. This nigga done went yeah. to the <laughs> <feel> <laughs> idea, man. <laughs> 
Come on, bro. Classic rebound. Y'all remember when the classic rebound? Definitely. Grant Hill, nigga. Definitely. Grant Hill. Man, I had to listen. I had to. I had to edit John Jordan's back in the day. Yeah, I had a head joint. Definitely. Duckhead, Bugle Boy. Come on, man. You're this nigga said Bugle Boy. Duckhead, <laughs> Duckhead, Bugle Boy. Yeah, that was my thing back then. Come on, this bro. This nigga said Bugle Boy. All that. Eyes You're an yeah, Eddie All that, man. I went, to, I went to the guy down second grade, Duckhead, down the whole first week, man. Facts. <laughs> you ain't got to get it for the shit out of the life. King at Muscogee Elementary. Nah, I was my man. If it wasn't Duckhead, Eyes, uh, or Bugle Boy, I wasn't even wearing it in elementary school. Oh, That's all I was wearing in elementary school, bro. Bugle Boy. I was the Eyes Eye King. The 90s, man. baby. You don't know nothing about Eyes Eye. 90, baby, don't know nothing about Eyes Eye. I was the bro. Duckhead, Eyes Eye King, man. Come on, man. With some Nike shoes and some Jordan shoes on. With them alligator shirts here the before they got dumbass expensive. The shirt with the alligator on. Lacoste. Oh, yeah, Lacoste. Lacrosse. Yeah. Come on, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I was rocking some I of that. I remember when that shit went dumb. They weren't that dumb expensive, yeah. I remember when Champion. Was like knockoff rap. Right, what? Right, what? You got clown you know for wearing champion back then. Come on, dude. kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. niggas got clown for wearing champion. Really, yeah, you kind of did. Yeah, you yeah, did. Yeah. 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 You had champion on. You got Champ, yeah. Chaps. Yeah. Yeah, I remember all that. Remember chaps, nigga? I remember all that. Come on, man. I had some chap jeans. I ain't gonna even flip. Come on, bro. Up, bro? I'm sorry. I had you know, chap shit. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? I had oh, some chap man. jeans. Straight like that. Come on, bro. Yeah. Shit. Champion used about. to be goddamn. Low budget shit. Make him make him say, uh. Um, Champion with that cheap shit. Right. Make him say, uh, um, bro. Achy yeah. hey, break your heart. Damn, man. Yeah. You real hate it, baby, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you need to just go on face it, my nigga. We just try to convince this nigga he was the 80s, baby, man. I'm, I'm, I'm still fighting for 90s. I'm, 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 I'm holding on. You know what, bro? I'm holding on. We don't even want you no more. I'm trying. We don't even want you no more. You know what? Take your ass to Cousin Skeeter. And um, <laughs> what does they had in the 90s that we got down? You were about in middle school by 2000, my nigga. You were got down. Yeah. Well, I was definitely yeah. in middle school by year 2000. You were 80, baby, bro. Because I think I was, I, I was, I was eighth grade 2003. If you were at least in middle school by 2000, 2004 80, and 2005 baby. for the only two years I spent in high school. Because I got kicked out of every, I got kicked out of the whole county. I couldn't go to no high school in Muscogee County. Yeah. So I had to go to Tillinghurst and get a GED. Tillinghurst, see? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now the baby don't know shit about Tillinghurst, man. <laughs> Come on, bro. Project Rebound. Yeah. 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 Come on, man. Academic success, all that. Oh, I done went through all that. Road that school, hill, everybody that. used to go to the little private school you had to pay for. Alan Turner. Holly Turner, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Super Church at Baker Village. Come on, cuz. Yo, if you know about Holly Turner, you a real hater about it. Bro. Uh, yeah, I know about that. Yeah, I know about that. Did you have to take the graduation test? Uh-huh. Was you in the, the graduation test here? Yeah. 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 I was just telling yeah. you how we trying to get it. To, we trying to just level it down, yeah. man. Man, I might, man. I might, I that's might be an 80s to, baby for real. That's enough for trying to convince this nigga, man. I might be an 80s baby for real. You're a real 80s baby, man. <laughs> yeah, we got to start trying to convince I him, might man. be a real 80s baby. Oh man. man. Chris Cross, nigga. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh man. Definitely. You seen a Chris Cross video when they were hot. Definitely. You an 80s baby. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. You can remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. I definitely remember that. I miss the bus. Ah, oh, man. All right. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, my brother. I my might nigga. be 80s, baby. I might. My definitely might. That. You definitely did. My nigga. Might. We done got these people a good ass episode today. Yeah, man. Yeah, Fuck y'all, man. nigga, man. Sad. Good little long goddamn trail. Appreciate your ass for coming through, man. You, you get know. your back to back, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You welcome to always come back through, though. You already money. know it. You see? You welcome to come through, for real. You yeah, already that. know it, we nigga. You already motherfucking know it. We here every to week. To the number one podcast. Yeah, I number appreciate one. that, man. In the nation, man. Oh, appreciate man. that, man. You know what I'm saying? heard that Brad Pill. Yeah, you know, I didn't want to say his name. You heard that Brad Pill. I didn't want to say his name. I'm saying it. I'm saying it. Yeah, you heard that Pill. White guy. <laughs> you heard that. He ain't pulled up one. yet. He ain't pulled up yet, right? Well, he did. But listen, if y'all don't win this year at the Tri-City Awards, I'm knocking all this shit over. Not this shit right here, <laughs> but the shit that they gonna have in there. I'm knocking everything. We supposed to goddamn go to that shit this year, man. So you know, we might. We if might. I don't we win might. this year, I'm we knocking might. all this we shit might. over. Knock that shit over, man. I'm knocking that shit over, man. I'm knocking that over, bro. We don't knock shit over. Bro. 
I'm not, I'm not gonna know. <laughs> I got. I I I, I want to win, even though I really don't care. But I do want to win. Still, I still want to win, though. Still want to win. I care a little, tiny, incy wincy bit. Enough to want to win. Shit, my niggas. Match one podcast and everything. Match one underscore podcast on IJ. All right, my nigga. We see y'all next episode. I'm out of here. Out of here. Some fries. That's my favorite side dish. I like them fresh and especially high. They keep me excited. Yeah, don't try to hide them. No, go fries. I don't like them. No, I can just stand and wait for a fresh batch and stand to the side. Oh, oh, oh. I bet those fries so good. Please drop them fresh, please drop them fresh, yeah. Damn, them fries smell so good. Please drop them fresh, please drop them fresh, yeah. Please drop them fresh, please drop them fresh, yeah.